Hey, everybody. It's snowing outside. The roads are treacherous. Good morning, good morning. They're not treacherous, but they're getting there. So um, I actually, boy, look at my purple shirt. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that TV. It's just that TV. Right. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Jim Weller here, and uh, we are live. We are live. This is a live show. <laughs> look at Colin's shirt. Hold on just a minute. Turn back to that. I guess the people watching on TV are getting the right color. Yeah. All right. It's our monitor in the studio here. But good morning. You're listening and watching Weller Does Del Marva. And it is the first snowfall of the year. And um, we're kind of excited. So anyway, we want to tell you about a lot of different things. But I'm joined by Colin Walls, Walls Service Center in Milford. And... Um, Anyway, we're getting started here. So, Colin, well, good morning. what's up with you? Well, uh, Wall Service Center most likely is going to be closed today. I would say the way this okay. snow is coming down, we're not going to be open today. Um, and uh, so don't... Unless it turns the other way quickly. Yeah, don't just show up because we most likely won't be there. And, okay. Uh, but if you want to give us a call, you can call us, 422-8110, see if we're All there. Right. Just in case. And yes, we know our voicemail is full. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> somebody so anyway. almost every week somebody lets us know our voicemail is full, but okay. we can't get in and turn it off. We can't turn it off. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. It's it's some feature that we cannot turn off. Wow, now that would have been an expensive voicemail. It would have been, yeah. To have an ex to have a feature that you can't turn it off. Yeah. Okay. I hope it should play an ad. <laughs> yeah, endlessly, <laughs> yeah. endlessly. <laughs> All right, or just clear it out. Yeah. So. No, because then I'm obligated to listen to the messages, and I'm not good at that. So uh, I just don't. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're better off. Well, then why don't you happen. change your message to say, you've reached Wall Service Center. Please do not leave a message. Call us back if you would, and um, or send us an email or something. Uh, I'll get right on that. Okay. Just a thought. <laughs> just a thought. All right. So what's okay. going on? Wall Service Center is most likely closed today, but we're going to be right back today. at it Monday morning. Right. Yep. All yep. right. Monday Are we talking about Wall Service Center? Yeah, well, we can talk about Wall Service Center um, okay. and uh, kind of Eagle Glass Company, also an right. Eagle Glass Company. All right. And uh, we do work right out of our shop there. In well, I guess Wall technically it's the time of year if you have a cracked windshield, it may crack more. Yeah, if you have a chip, especially, that's when you, this cold weather is when you could actually that chip okay. turn into a crack and so, a crack can get bigger if you have, right. have a crack so you know they may want to if they have a chip or something give a call and get a price on the new windshield just so yep. they know what it's going to be when they're ready so you can be ready right yeah and and if you've got a chip you know or a crack that you just want the windshield replaced we'd love to take care of it for you at wall service center oh they don't have to wait till it's a big crack nope they don't Really? Yep. I would All say right. don't wait until it's a big crack because right. then it's a problem. And it could shatter. And, you know, you know, the windshield is actually part of the structure of the vehicle. Oh, so it has to do with the strength of the car. It does. Uh, okay. You know, and, and an improperly installed or even a cracked windshield actually um, affects the integrity of the vehicle in a crash. So it's just the best idea if you got a crack, small or big, just go ahead and get it fixed. Exactly. exactly. All right. Walls Service Center also does all types of automotive repairs. Right. Everything from a uh, simple oil change on up to replacing an engine or a transmission. What about um, a complicated oil change? Uh, we can even do those, too. Okay. There are a couple of those. What about There's that even, synthetic oil? What if somebody wants that? We can do that. There's even complicated uh, headlight bulb changes. Some Is headlight there? bulbs you have to pull the entire front <laughs> yeah. bumper off to replace. And right. guess what? What? You own one of those cars. Do I really? Yes, you do. That okay. Impala. Really? Yes, you got to pull that whole front bumper cover off to really? replace the headlight. Gee whiz. Yeah. That's Something when to you, look forward that's to. That's when you it? don't want to buy the cheapest bulb on the market. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You want the best right. bulb you can get. So we have good bulbs. We sell at Wall Service Center. And uh, we can take care of all your automotive needs. Wall Service Center, wallservicecenter.com. Give us a call, 422-8110. And most likely, not open for today. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's Wall Service Center, everybody, and good morning to you. You are watching Weller Does Del Marva, and uh, we've got a lot of interesting things. Um, i got a special I'm going to offer on the Weller's discount card, and um, we just want to say good morning. But we're going to tell you about a lot of things that Weller sells that are snow-related, um, the kind of things you would normally buy on a day to, like today. But we are going to close today, so um, I'm going to do all this talking about snow-related things, <laughs> and then I'm going to go close the store. Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so anyway, um, Weller's Utility Trailers is going to be closed today. We just don't want to cause anybody to come out and, you know, get caught 
you know, slide off the road or have an accident on the way here or the way home. So Weller's is going to be closed today, but we're going to take your phone calls if you want to uh, leave a message for anything you may need. Some of my guys might be returning calls today. They might not. It's hard to say. But anyway, we'll be back at it Monday morning at 9 o'clock. You can learn a lot about Weller's by going to our website, which is wellers.com, wellers.com, and there's a lot of information there. Um, we just updated a lot of stuff. I think we put a bunch of new sheds on there, so um, you can take a look at that. And uh, the shed business is booming, so if you want a shed, it's a good idea to talk to Brandon about that. But the phone number for the store, if you want to leave a message, is 337-8228. We are going to be closed today, but if you leave a message, somebody will get back to you on Monday. Now, Brian Pettyjohn is going to be joining me this morning. Uh, Senator Brian Pettyjohn is going to be here about 7.30. We're just going to chit-chat with him about a few things going on. Also, at 8 o'clock today, we've got Barry from Dry Zone coming in. Hopefully, he'll make it here safe and sound. He's going to talk about a big event coming up at Dry Zone a week from today. Uh, something that we are going to invite you to attend, and it's all going to be free. So people really like that also. But gives you an opportunity to meet the people from Dry Zone and see the barn on the inside and uh, have breakfast with us. So I'll let Barry tell you all about it when he gets here. And I've been prepping for a big question for Dry Zone that I'm going to ask on the air on the 14th, something like ain't nobody in this room ever heard before. So um, it's going to be exciting. So first offer I'm going to make you today, I'm going to make an offer because I want the telephone to ring today. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you the phone number for starters. It's 337-7300. 337-7300. Okay, is the phone number. <coughs> you're only going to get a voicemail. You're not going to get a person or anything like that. But you got to leave a message if you want this offer. And you got to say, I want one. And the offer is only for one. It's the Weller's discount card. If you go to wellers.com and look at the front of our webpage, for those watching on TV or on Facebook Live or on wellerdoesdelmarva.com, here it is. It's just a little card like a credit card, and it's a Weller's discount card. And right off the bat, you save 10% on any labor at Weller's, and it's good for all of 2017. All right? Then there's a discount at Applebee's, No Nonsense Office Machines, Bethany Blues, Vanderwind's Ice Cream, Fat Daddy's, Nicola Pizza. These, all these places are on the card. It's front and back. Odyssey, um, Papa John's, Dairy Queen, Subway, Supercuts, The Palace, um, Cafe Tamborelli's, Dry Zone has a big discount, Fisher Auto Parts, Ducking Car Wash, Mama Maria's, and B&B &B Music. So what I'm saying is if you buy this Weller's discount card, we're going to sell you one for $10, and then we're going to give you one free. So it's buy one, get one free. Now, you can't buy five of them and get five free. This is a one and done. So if you would like a Weller's discount card and you want one for your better half or for a friend or an employee or a coworker, here's your chance. Buy one for $10. You'll get a second one absolutely free. But that is a limited only one per person. I don't want to sell somebody a whole bunch of them or anything at that price. So that way everybody can get one. People use them time and time again. They're for good all the way till the end of the year. And every single time you use it, you're going to save money. So it's kind of like every time you spend money, you save money. So just think about it. If you were to go to Applebee's, you save 10% on a $20 or $30 meal. That's 2 or $3. So if you buy one, get one free, you only got $5 in the card. So anyway, if you want one, call 337-7300. Leave your name and number, and you can get one next week at that offer. If you don't call and leave your name and number, you won't be able to get that. Another thing I wanted to mention was I want to go ahead and talk about first class heating and air. I woke up this morning and I was thinking how nice it was to have good heat. Okay, nothing I have to worry about. It's very dependable. And that is because first class heating and air is who I deal with for all my heating and air um, at my store or at my home or I have a lot of rental properties and so on. I've been dealing with them for a few years now. And not only will they come out and service something, whether you bought it from them or not, they'll work on it. But they have service agreements. That's what I personally have to where they come out twice a year and I don't have to worry about it. And if I have a problem, you get moved up the list because um because, um, what was I getting ready to say? Because if you have a service agreement, 
you get um, preferential treatment, I guess is what I'm saying. So when they um, actually come out and service you. So I'm talking about first class heating and air. It is who I deal with for heating and air conditioning work on my rental properties or my own personal home or here at the store. So they sell heaters. They sell air conditioners. They sell the ductless system, okay? They, they can extend your duct work. They can clean your duct work. They can replace your duct work. They service most makes and models. They also sell brand new, of course. Their estimates are free. They'll come out and inspect what you have and tell you what, what you got or what you might need or might not need. If you're building an addition and you maybe want to consider one of those ductless systems, I've got them too they're really kind of cool there's no duck work and they're uh, very inexpensive and unbelievably efficient so they have that they also do plumbing they also do home performance work so the name of the company is first class heating and air they have been serving the area for over 40 years they work in delaware and maryland their phone number is 934 8900 934 8900 and on the web it's the words first class h v ac.com first class hvac.com like i say they've been serving delmarva for over 40 years you give them a call they'll take good care of you tell them i sent you first class heating and air 934-8900 so good morning to everybody you're listening and watching weller does delmarva and uh it's a snowy day encourage you to just stay in if you don't have to go out uh, when I woke up this morning, there wasn't any snow on my driveway. By the time I left home, the driveway was completely covered. Um, I posted a couple pictures. Um, you look up Jim Weller on Facebook. Um, I posted one at Route 16 at um, Allendale, and um, when I came to the end of Webb Farm Road at Route 16. So, Brooks, how would you find things? You come from the other side of Lincoln. Yeah, it was pretty much essentially about the same. I, I looked out the window, you know, 10 minutes to 5, nothing on the, on the ground at all. I left about 5.20, and my grass was completely covered. The road yeah, was covered. It's I mean, it, so it's coming down yeah, pretty good. It came, it came up quick. Yeah, so I'm sure we're going to get 4 or 5 inches of snow before it's over. So just, you know, and we decided already we're going to go ahead and not, not open today. So Wellers will not be open. But we do have a lot of, a lot of weather-related things. Weather-related things, if you happen to want any. Um, so anyway, um, a lot of weather-related things. We've got boots and snow shovels and uh, jumper cables and all kinds of different things. So um, anyway, so it's a busy morning. we got a lot going on. Wellers will be closed. Um, we just had a special, special guest come in. Maybe we'll get him to talk to us just a little bit. But anyway, Wellers is closed for the day. I did just make an offer on the Wellers discount card. Um, where if you buy one, you get one free, but you can only buy one at that price, okay? So, First Class Heating and Air, I mentioned them already. Mm -hmm. Brian Pettyjohn is on his way. He's going to be here at 730, but he did just stop to help somebody get unstuck. That's, so, that's what a great very, public yeah, servant. Very nice of him. Yep. So, anyway, um, so he'll be on at 730. Then we got Barry from Dry Zone going to be on at 8 o'clock. And um, hopefully after that. We're going to be able to go outside. We got the Val Six heaters ready to go. Yep. So we're going to go out and show how they just literally heat the, the ground. Yeah, basically it'll probably start melting the snow. Right, I will we'll start melting. You the think snow they right will? There. Yes. Will you talk with me for a minute? Sure. Now. All right. Now, oh, what are you getting ready to take our equipment? <laughs> anyway. We've got Dan Gaffney has stopped by. Are you out pulling people out of ditches? No, I was out joyriding, oh, and okay. uh, then I just now heard you on the radio say you shouldn't be out doing <laughs> okay. that. So what's now your, I'm stuck here. What's your can't take on? Oh, you can't go home. Yeah. Well, guess what we have? What's that? This is a surprise for you. No, it isn't. Seriously, I, we thought you this were is coming. Why I came. This is why you came. Wow, it's a mobile home. Thank it's you. It's a mobile Jim. home. Or so, is that a shed? It's a little bit of everything. Wow, look at that. It's Amish made. No, it's not. It's but some it sort of uh, package that... Yes, it's very nice. For those listening on the radio, it is some sort of uh, little box shaped like a uh, single wide trailer. Yes. Single <laughs> axle. And, and you open single it? Single wide trailer. Oh, look at that. Cookies. Yes. Well, I'm on my Just way... Just in case you get stranded. I'm on my way to a men's breakfast oh, at wow. a place called... Oh, wow. Won't you take them with you? I'm going to. That's okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to take these to uh, the men of Atlanta Road Alliance Church. Oh, I know where that's at. I'm supposed to be uh, uh, speaking to a men's breakfast there, assuming they don't cancel it. Okay. But I haven't heard, so I'm on the road. All and right. so I'll take these cookies. Because Thank you me. can't text and drive or anything. Thank you. So you got to flip right. the switch if you're These are nice. On. Are they? Nice, nice mic. Mid-South audio. This whole setup is great. Unbelievable studio. You, you like it? Yeah. 
He Love was it. nice and toasty. Well, it's very nice to be here on the radio. Wow. So you are speaking this morning. What time? Uh, I don't know. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. If, okay. Again, if they haven't canceled. All I right. haven't heard. So. so what do you think of the roads? Uh, well, a little slippery. You know, it's a. It, we're here, obviously, in Bridgeville, and... Uh, you know, it's just it's snow, guys. A little okay. slippery, and what kind of happens in the winter? Yeah, but there are a lot of people out driving around and uh, you know doing things and going to stores and whatever. So it is just what it be is. Careful. Just be careful. It's slippery. Yeah. Okay. But not too right. bad. Well, good. So how did we sound on the radio? You sounded good. Good, good to have you. Good all to right. have you here. Well, we're all excited. I'm ex- I'm honored to be on the show. Thank well, you. We're Jim. honored to have you, Jim Weller's show. So anyway, we have a lot of fun, and I uh, forgot to get makeup. I forgot it was on TV. <laughs> so, yeah, we we all <laughs> forgot. Everybody in this room forgot it. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, but we did bring hand sanitizer. Thank you. Just very in much. case, kills most germs, <laughs> <laughs> not them deadly ones, but it kills most germs. So anyway, um, I did want to mention that. Um, Oh, my gosh. Crossroads, I'm being told, Crossroads did cancel their men's breakfast this a.m. And Community Bank, I believe, is going to be closed today. So, anyway, so... Well, it's a busy morning. So, if you're other, really hankering for breakfast, and you're, uh, we're going to go to that one. You could go to the other one at Atlanta Road. Atlanta Road, Road. Uh, yeah, Alliance there you Church. go. That's right. We'll see if they're still going to have. Are it. you speaking or just serving breakfast? I was asked to speak, so I'm very excited really? about that. I'm going to speak to the to the men's breakfast. Uh, Do you so, want to give us a brief synopsis? Uh, no, I don't. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're nervous when you speak. I am nervous when I speak. I've seen it? you speak a couple times. All right. It's much easier in the studio. Isn't yeah, it? it's easier here even. Okay. It's easier to do it on a microphone, even in front of a camera, than speaking to a group of people. That's, That's the hard. camera we're using. Thank you. Yeah, that one's missing. Oh, that one. I'm looking <laughs> Oh, that here. one's Dan's. Oh, that one's Which mine. Which one? Yeah. Oh, Dan gets the big one? Yeah. These guys have okay. multiple cameras in here. They have oh. speakers. Oh, it's we're like going a... outside in a little bit, Dan. This is, this is bigger than... Uh, we're going to go heat the ground. In NBC words, 12 <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> in Bridgeville. In Bridgeville City. I mean, whatever. This is right. great. Well, we have a lot of fun here, believe it or not. So anyway, um, we're going to be talking about all the products that Weller sells, even though that Weller's may be um Yeah, I'm getting you today. off target. I, I wanted I'm to come good. and say hi. I well, don't let want me to show you our show schedule. schedule. You, you might be impressed with this. Wow. Brooks made yeah. this. It shows everything by the minute. So we're either on schedule or off schedule, yeah, one not, or the other. Now, yeah, keeping them to those minutes is the tough part. Look yeah. at that schedule. Oh, oh, he hasn't seen the other thing. Show him the sign. Are you showing this schedule on television? Because Look at these, Dan. Can this I go? Keeps... Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this is so we don't go over. <laughs> oh, yeah, you haven't seen them all. <laughs> I don't know if the people watching on television have seen this, but look, time is up. <laughs> So There's that's a sign it. that says time is up. A cue card. Right. Like, ten, 10 minutes. minutes. 15 minutes. It's like a board game. 15 <laughs> minutes. Five, two, one. Oh, look on, at the other side. On the radio. Prep for radio. That's what does that our, mean? Well, like I straighten my hair out and everything before I go on the radio. I have these signs that are Clear professionally printed on card uh, signboard. Yes. That is wild. <laughs> I want some of these. You can sell these. This is a great thing. All right, guys. Oh, thank my. you, Jim. All right, thanks, thanks Dan. Brooks. Thank Have you. Have a good weekend. Thanks for the cookies. All right. Yep. Eat them in remembrance of me. All right, everybody. So that was Dan Gaffney, and um, we want to thank him for all he does with Delaware 105.9. There's a whole big team back there at the studio today with cancellations and weather. And They're actually out on the road, too. They're out on the road. Yeah, Kelly really? Steele, I think, was down at uh, Bethany Beach or Ocean City, somewhere down that way. And no kidding. Yeah. All right. Well, let me brag on my insurance man, because today is a day that people may need their insurance man. So I deal with L&W Insurance Agency, and uh, I've been dealing with them for, gosh, at least 25, 30 years now. And um, they've been in business, actually, 84 years, believe it or not. So um, I want to let you know that if you need insurance or you already have insurance and you want to get a second opinion or something like that, L&W Insurance Agency welcomes your business. It's a new year and they're open for business and looking for new customers. If you happen to want to get a second opinion or get a quote or have them review what you have and make sure you're properly insured, it's L&W Insurance Agency. The one thing they offer is they offer auto and home and health and life insurance and commercial coverage and workman's comp and anything in between. 
But what they do for their customers that they really like me to emphasize is, is you can buy insurance anywhere. You can buy it online. You can buy it anywhere. But LNW likes to get involved when you have a claim. They like to work between you and the insurance company to make sure that you're handled to your satisfaction and that your needs are met and that everything is taken care of so that when it's over, you're satisfied. So they don't you know, switch you over to 1-800 or something like that. They get involved. And um, I've personally experienced that, and so have people I know. So if you need an insurance agency, it's LNW Insurance Agency. The phone number is 856-7828, 856 7828 on the web, it's lwinsurance.com. So anyway, tell them I sent you. And uh, they have been in business 84 years, but it doesn't imply that Bill Strickland is 84 years old, okay? So uh, he bought it off of uh, the person that owned it. So he started working there fresh out, of, um, fresh out of college and then ended up buying the business. So L&W Insurance Agency, 856-7828. Now, Brooks, am I on schedule or off schedule? Tell me. You're pretty good. Pretty good? Yep. All right. Is Barry from Dry Zone? He's on his way. Did he send you a picture? He does not send me a picture. Oh, he texted me a picture. Well, anyway, Barry, still keep coming, okay? Even though you've wrecked the company vehicle, please continue on. Have him bring it here on the rollback, if you would. You're not supposed to say that. Why? Bill and Heather don't listen until he's on. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay? That's good. All right. You don't want to get Barry in trouble. Oh, now he's calling me. (laughs) Should we take this call? I I would. I have no idea who it is. All right, we're going to take this call. I'm on the blue mic. This is how we take a phone call, Dan. Good morning. Yes, uh, I wanted to put my name in for the uh, for the uh, Weller card. You want to buy one and get one free? Yeah, buy one and get one free, yes, sir. All right, now I'm pretty good with voice recognition. I'm going to guess this is Harry Swain. Yes. Wow, good morning, Harry. Are you out on the road yet? No, sir, I'm not going out. No, sir, okay. I'm staying in. I'm not as brave as you are. All right. Well, we're gonna when we get done with this show, I'm gonna take my bi- my wife to look at bicycles, and then we're gonna be done for the day. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah. So, well, Harry, I'll put you down, and you pick it up next week. Okay. Okay, bud. Thank you, and have a good day. Are you watching or listening? I'm watching. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll s- see you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. All right, there we go. There's another one wanting one of those Weller discount cards, and all you got to do is call. We won't answer every call. We thought that was maybe um, the state saying we need to close the show or something, (laughs) state of emergency. All right, but anyway, I forgot what I was just talking about, but Weller's is closed for the day, right? Yep. And um, you said I was on schedule. Yes. I do want to talk about Wilson's auction, but you know what? I wonder if they're having their auction today. I'll check their website. You want me to call Dave Wilson? I'd you know give what? it a shot. Huh? <laughs> I'd give it a shot. <laughs> what, call Dave? Yeah. I guarantee he's up this early. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to call Dave Wilson just to see if Wilson's auction is going to have their auction today. How about that? Sounds good. All right. Hold on here. How do I do this? Brooks, you need to keep the crowd entertained while I take <laughs> and look his number up in my book, in my phone. Okay. He does know how to Dave make a phone Wilson. call. He's really good at making phone calls. What's that? I said, oh, you're here real- we go. You got the mics on? <laughs> Which one you on? The blue one. You're good to go? Okay, he does not know we're calling him, folks. He does not know we're calling. So this is going to be a surprise phone call. I hope he's awake. What time is it? 7.23. Um, I think he's awake at 4 or 5. Uh-oh, we're not going to get him. So, folks, I'm just trying to... Double check. Wilson's Auction usually has an auction every Saturday at 10 o'clock. They got stuff inside the building, outside the building, and um, I'm presuming they're having one today, so I'm going to go ahead and do the commercial like I normally do because Dave (laughs) has probably recognized the number and says, I am not talking to that crazy guy. (laughs) He's not going to trap me on the radio. (laughs) Right. So anyway, let's talk about Wilson's Auction. First of all, I have found out tomorrow's Dave Wilson's birthday. (laughs) So I just want to say happy birthday to Dave Wilson. So if you're listening and you know him, make sure you wish him happy birthday tomorrow, okay? But Wilson's auction has been around for over 40 years. Think about that. 40 years. You know, a lot of good businesses in Lower Delaware. Been in business 40 years. First Class Heating and Air has been in business... 
40 years. So anyway, I'm just letting you know that Wilson's Auction has been in business for 40 years. I like these companies that have stood the test of time. So if you're looking for a bargain, Wilson's Auction every Saturday starting at 10 o'clock has an auction inside, outside, all kinds of stuff. Household items, coins, jewelry, tools, exercise equipment, building supplies, a little bit of everything. So Wilson's Auction today at 10 o'clock to the best of my knowledge, is having their auction. I'm going to give you their phone number in a minute just so you can call and be sure. But if you go to wilsonsauction.com, man, they have got some auctions coming up, two of them, um, a couple farms where they're selling all of their equipment and everything. So there's a couple big auctions coming up in, uh, later in January and in February. On Tuesday nights, they have an auto auction. So if you're looking to buy an automobile or sell an automobile, 6 o'clock Tuesday nights, they have an auto auction. So whether you're looking to buy something or you're looking to sell something, and people say, well, how do you sell something at Wilson's? You literally, starting on Wednesday, you can take stuff to Wilson's auction. You drop it off. You take it and you set it out on a table, and you put these little stickers on it that have a number on it, and they sell it for you. And then you go back. I don't know if you can go back Saturday night or not, but I know you can go Monday or Tuesday or whatever, and you pick up your money in cash. So if you got something you want to sell, it's that simple. Clean out your garage, clean out your closet, take it on down, load it, you know, lay it all out, and um, they'll get it sold for you. And then you just go back and pick up the cash. Okay, also, let's say you have a building full of stuff and you want them to come to you, or you have some property you want to sell. I bought numerous properties at auction off of Wilson's Auction. So anyway, it's Wilson's Auction. They've been around over 40 years on the web. It's wilsonsauction.com, wilsonsauction.com. The phone number is 422-3454, 422 422- 3454, just double checking and making sure that they're going to have their auction today before you go there. But I promise you'll find a bargain. And um, what are you telling me? Barry's outside. Is he in a ditch? He's live on Facebook right now at Royal Farms. <laughs> Would you tell him he's going to be on the air in a few minutes to get on down here? Did he get his car out of the ditch? Did he get the company vehicle? Anyway, wilsonsauction.com, 422-3454. Barry from Dry Zone is on his way. Now, Brooks. Can we talk about some Weller-related stuff? Sure. We haven't hit anything yet except for the Weller's discount card, buy one, get one free offer. Mm -hmm. But these boots, guess who's calling me? Mm -hmm. Turn on the mic. This is going to be Dave Wilson. I need to tell him. Dave, you're on the air, okay? It's Hey, Dave? Yes. It's Jim Weller, and you're on the radio with me, okay? Okay, Jim. I just wanted to know, are you having Wilson's auction today? Yes, we are. All right, so... It would be a good way to get out of the weather and go do something and find a bargain, huh? Absolutely. We've got a large dollar of book sale to search today at 4 o'clock, and uh, uh, we're, we're back. Oh, I saw. I went on the website. There's a lot of neat books there, too. That's correct. A lot of Delaware history. Well, I was calling you just to double check, but we are live, and I just wanted to make sure people knew that Wilson's Auction is going to have their sale starting at 10 o'clock today. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jim. Have All a right. Fine day. You have a fine day and happy birthday tomorrow. Thank you, buddy. See ya. Bye. See bye bye. All right. That was a little spontaneous, but they are. If you go to the website, there was some really neat books on there. Like Denise and I were looking at it last night. And she's like, "Oh, I want to go get this book and that book and stuff like that." So books about businesses and buildings and things that were in Delaware that no longer exist. It's kind of interesting. So a lot of old books. But they have a little bit of everything. Wilsonsauction.com is a go today at 10 o'clock. Great way to not be home and be bored. Go on and check out the auction to get a bargain. In fact, today there probably will be some bargains. So anyway, <laughs> I may go there today. Hook me to an enclosed trailer and I'm to the auction. All right, Brooks, <laughs> um, real quick, I want to talk about these boots. Can I? Absolutely. These big old lacrosse rubber boots okay now when people buy these we sell them so cheap i've had people think like they're two rights or two lefts or something crazy like that all right because mm -hmm. they're like what 80 85 dollars online normally yep. all right how much are they right now they're on sale right now for ten dollars each a pair five dollars each if you want to break it down that way but right, yes ten dollars a, a pair absolutely these great big nice lacrosse rubber boots ten dollars a pair Okay. It's hard to believe, isn't it? It's hard to believe. Um, anyway, Weller's is not open today, but we will be open on Monday, and you can get them then. We're not going to sell out between now and Monday. That's for sure. So anyway, we have these real nice lacrosse rubber boots for $10 a pair. Okay? And we have all kinds of sizes, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. yes, Steph. Yep. 
We have a lot of sizes. That's correct. All right, not every size, not but we have a lot. Every size. You panicked on me over there. <laughs> All right, can I talk to Colin real quick about Wall Service Center and Eagle Glass? I think that's a great idea. I'm going to let him decide what we talk about. Well, I, I kind of want to give a shout-out today to somebody. Can I All do right. that? Sure, go ahead. I'm going to do it anyway. All right. I don't care what you say. All right. Well, let me say <laughs> no, so that way you'll be, look rebellious. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm don't, don't anyway. do it. Nothing that's not on this schedule. Well, I want to give a shout-out to <coughs> Brian Hexer down to Auto Gallery. Oh, okay. Down to Lewis. All right. Do you know Brian? Um, yep, yep. He's real a good guy. Yep, real good guy. And um, he uh, he has work done on some of the cars that he has okay. there. And to something I've noticed is that uh, he wants it done right. Oh, no doubt. And there's times where he you has get a first class place. Exactly. There's times you get you know used cars dealers that come in and they just just do the bare minimum right. I've got to do to get Least this thing back possible. on the road. Uh, I've never run into that with him. He's no. always uh, cleans just, and washes and waxes. Them. Yeah, and he's and he's wanted it done right. He mm -hmm. you know he's never asked for a used part or the the cheapest part. He wants it done right and he wants it done. Uh, to the top quality, so to make sure it's good for the customer. So I just wanted to give him a little shout out today. So, and you're saying that if you're a used car dealer and you're looking for a place to get your automobiles worked on, you'd be happy to work on it. Absolutely, Wall Service Center can take care of it for you. Um, and uh, we, you know, we do a lot of retail stuff, but we do also do stuff for used car dealers. Too. I never thought of that till you just mentioned it. Yeah. So, all right. Well, Brian, good morning to you. If you're um, awake and out there. Send us a message on Facebook just so we Yeah, know. good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you, Brian. Yeah. All right, yes. Yeah, so what was it called? Go Auto Gallery. Auto Gallery, yeah. yeah I've been there. Yeah, it's a real nice place. Mm -hmm. A lot of nice, clean, good used automobiles. Yeah, he gets some unique stuff, too. He I've does. Seen him have some, well, I think he has an stuff eye for with it. real low miles yes. on it. And, yes, yeah, he yeah. knows what sells and he knows what. And he stands behind what he sells, so he's not going to sell something that's uh, not too sporty. Right. Well, okay. when, you, when, you, when you do the job right, you can stand behind it. So yes. that's, that's part of the. The formula there to be able to stand behind it. Well, very good. All right, so All right. Anyway, Wall Service Center. We're at 220 Northeast Front Street, downtown Milford. Uh, it's right across from Abbott's Grill next to Bicentennial Park. I always tell people, come in and get your car worked on and check out downtown Milford while you're there. Walk around. We're we're right on the Riverwalk, actually, so uh, right there at the Bicentennial Park. Right there. I have a lot to do. There's a lot to in do other down words, there. You yeah. know, or go eat. In other words, you know, so you can either sure. eat or take a walk or go sit over there at the park or Guess, something like that. You know that. what we have coming to downtown Milford? What's that? Touch of Italy. That's what I hear. At the old uh, Wilmington Trust. They're steady building. working they're, on it, are they? They are steady working on it, and from what I hear, they are restoring it and trying to use as many of the original features as possible to make it. Oh, it, really? Yeah. The, the word I got was, if it was just a regular shell, they'd have been done a long time ago, but they're taking the well, time to restore. Well, they just started, so. They've been working on it for a while. But, are they really? Yeah, but... Uh, okay. But they, uh, they're doing it right. Yeah, they're doing it right, and they're really trying to uh, maintain the integrity of the building, the old feel of it. So, I'm excited. Anyway, Wall Service Center, downtown Milford, wallservicecenter.com. My time is up. 422-8110. 422-8110. That's right. Right? Now, what's next, Brooks? You're still on break, so you can keep talking with me if you want. I'm on break? Yeah. Oh, you At least the radio. Brandon? Taking a break. <laughs> We're taking a break? I didn't even know I was on break. you got to tell me that stuff next time. Uh -huh. All right. Well, anyway, are you – what are you doing? You're not doing nothing today. You're taking a day off. Uh, yep. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm working right now. but <laughs> Okay. But after this show, you're done. Yeah. All right. So Weller's is closed today. Mm -hmm. but, but we will take time to talk about everything we do sell, but we can't sell <laughs> yes. because we're closed. Well, and is that right? So people understand because sometimes it's like, are they closed already? And we have people coming from all over the place. You know, we have people from Lewis oh, that work I here and Lincoln. Have, and I bet more than half our customers travel 100 plus miles. Yeah. So we're just because. trying to make sure that we're being safe for... Fear for our employees, our customers, everybody. Right. Uh, we don't want them to get, in, you know. Well, just tell the truth. You just don't want somebody to come here and buy something, have an accident on the way home, and want to sue us <laughs> for bringing them out in the weather. Just be honest about it, Brooks. I think you put it pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want them to get any ideas. So we would rather not be one of the places they can or can't come in inclement weather. Is that right? Sure. All right. Just to be on the safe side. It's all about public safety. Absolutely. All right. We have so your anyway, safety in mind. Your safety in mind. And um, that's right. Your safety in mind. Your safety and mine. And mine. There and mine. Works. Right. So we'll both be safe. All right. So anyway, what else is going on? It's snowing. Um, let me just talk to Brian Pettyjohn for just a minute. 
And um, Brian, did you come over from the other side of the county or the middle of the county, or where'd you come yeah, from? I came over from the middle of the county. Okay. Georgetown. What was the middle of the county like? Uh, it was snowy, but was it? you know, you take your time and you can make it through fine. Okay. You just uh, just be you know, cautious. Yeah, I mean, I I stopped and helped somebody out of a ditch. They were. Really? Waiting there with the tow strap already hooked up, so I oh, just wow. backed up. They hooked it to the back of the pickup, and I pulled that's it out, and, and that's all it took. Yeah, wow, constituent yeah, service, absolutely. Okay, yeah. I like that. I like it when you ride by and the jumper cables are already hooked up and they're yep. sticking out from under the hood, and they just need and a somebody, jump. Somebody just words. needs something. Yeah, yeah. yeah they've already so. got all the prep work done. But you know, that's the difference between a hand out and a hand up. Absolutely. They just needed a hand up to yeah. get out of the ditch. Yep. That's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So Brian Pettyjohn. Uh, Senator Brian Pettyjohn is awake. You're out doing constituent service today. Yep. You had an event planned. Do you have a new date for it yet or uh, not we yet? We do. It's going, to be, oh, really? uh, it's going to be Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Um, this coming up this Thursday coming morning. Up Thursday morning. Yes. All right. Now, this, what would you call this? A meet this, and greet? This or? is a constituent coffee, which I have every month. I okay. have a constituent coffee every month. Right. Uh, but I have a special person here this month, and it's going to be Governor-elect uh, John Carney. So okay. at that point in time, he'll still be Governor-elect. Okay. Uh, he gets sworn in uh, next uh, the following week. Okay. But um, yeah, uh, Governor Elect, he was supposed to be in Georgetown today. Right. Um, but uh, looking at the forecast, uh, we thought it'd just be uh, best if we postponed it. I um, think that was a good idea. Didn't want a lot of people on the roads, and, and you, you have no idea with, which way they're coming from. True. And, and now with a level one uh, driving warning starting at eight o'clock this morning, okay. uh, you know they would have been out on the roads trying to get to a constituent coffee during that. So it it, it, it was it, it was best just to delay it. Right. And uh, we were able to work with our scheduling staff yesterday to uh, get it rescheduled uh, fairly quickly. Oh, good. Yeah. So let's talk about what this will be. So it's really something that you do on a monthly basis. Yes. All right. Yep. So describe that. Say somebody doesn't know exactly what, what it you is. Know, Say they've never been. I mean, I don't know if everybody that's listening has Probably been. not. Okay. Um, so if there's anybody that hasn't been to this, anybody can come. They don't even have to be in your district. Anybody can come. They don't have to be in the 19th district. Uh, I, I know that... Uh, uh, announcements for it uh, have been uh, reposted by a lot of different people, a lot of different organizations. Okay. Uh, even the uh, the Eastern Sussex uh, Democrats uh, have told their membership about it. Okay. Um, so you know, it's you you come. You know, we talk about some of the issues. Um, you know, I I never have a set agenda. Uh, okay. What I do, I just you know start the conversation off and then get the feedback from the people that are there. You know, what do okay. they want to talk about? Um, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, things that are happening on their local roads, uh, things about school districts, um, you know, things about uh, education, agriculture, public safety, wh whatever it is. Wherever or if they the have a question about some upcoming project yeah. or something. You know, or Wherever the conversation goes, I don't come and just speak to them and then leave. Okay. I like it to be interactive. I like there to be conversation. You know, sometimes we'll get stuck on one subject and spend most of the coffee talking about one subject. Okay. But, you know, I, I, I let the constituents, I let the people that are there really drive the conversation uh, as to what interests them. Okay. Well, that's kind of a good idea. In other yeah. words, um, the other thing is this event that you're talking about, you do it every month. Yes. Okay. And so normally, where do you do it? Each well, month? I, I rotate um, okay. because my, my district goes from the Delaware, Maryland line all the way to Massey's Landing. So I'll have one month I'll do uh, Bridgeville, and I'll do Georgetown, and then I'll do something down in Long Neck. All right, let me just make sure everybody knows. I'm talking with Brian Pettyjohn, Senator Brian Pettyjohn. We're talking about a, a monthly coffee, coffee. get-together mm -hmm. yep. that you have with people. Yep. Uh, people don't have to be in your voting district to no, come to this. Absolutely not. And it gives them an opportunity to hear and be heard mm -hmm. and to talk directly to you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, and, you had an event that was scheduled for today. Yep. Um, where the governor-elect was going to come down mm -hmm. to J.D. Shuckers. J.D. Shuckers in Georgetown. The yes. new one. Mm -hmm. Great place to eat. Yes. Crab yes, cakes is. are real good, folks. Uh, I, I've right. tried just about everything on that uh, on that menu. In fact, I, I told Jamie uh, when they had the, the soft opening that uh, a lot of my money would be spent there, and I've lived uh, I've Lived, lived up to word. it. Yes, I have. Well, good. Yeah. Yeah, well, as soon as you busy. get an account opened up there, let me know. Okay, we'll do. And we'll stop down there and use uh -huh, it for you. Uh-huh, sure will. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> um, so the the meeting with the new governor-elect mm -hmm. is going to be this coming Thursday? Yes, this Thursday morning. Um, it will be, I guess, the 12th. Okay. Uh, which is uh, actually my wife and I's 15th wedding anniversary. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, so Are you going to be at this event or are you taking your wife on a cruise uh, no no we, we already did that oh okay all right <laughs> uh then we're going to be there um uh nine o'clock in the morning nine to right. ten at so, jd shuckers at jd shuckers in georgetown right. on thursday uh, january 12th 
All right, so that's this Thursday coming up, yes. 9 o'clock in the morning, yep. J.D. Shuckers in Georgetown. People can come out. They can sit down, have a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. Um, there is opportunity to talk directly to you, yep. opportunity to, to talk to the governor-elect, John Carney. Um, I'm, I personally, as like a citizen of Delaware, I'm feeling really good about John Carney, to be honest with you. I just haven't met him a lot, mm-hmm. but the times I have met him, he seems to be in tune with what's going on. He seems to be very interested and passionate about making Delaware better, greater, Mm -hmm. Um, listening to people, um, trying to work with people. Um, I just kind of like his attitude, to be honest with you. You know, one of the things that I really noticed about, uh, I I guess it'd be governor-elect, he's not congressman anymore since uh, Lisa Rochester uh, was sworn in, uh, is that he spent time in the minority in Congress. Okay. Uh, and, you know, we think we have it bad in Dover in the minority with some of our bills not being heard. It's it's 20 times worse when you're over in D.C. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he knows. Bigger crowd. Yeah. He knows what it's like to work with a majority that doesn't necessarily want to listen to your ideas. So he's experienced that. He's lived through that. And he's been very good talking to our caucus, our members, uh, you know, doing things like he's doing with me and coming to uh, my constituent coffee. Uh, okay. and, and being a part of the conversation and not just sticking with his own party, the right. majority party, in, in uh, really just listening to that echo chamber and only listening to, uh, you know, that one party. So I, it's, it's positive. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I, I think he's going to work well with us. There's going to be a lot of challenges that we're going to be facing. Oh, yeah. Um, but they could just be some great opportunities to have victories. I agree. I agree. In other words, you know, so um, a big challenge is just, just that. Yes. Uh, a big opportunity. A big opportunity. And we've you got know. a lot of big opportunities here in Delaware. But we have here. a lot of good people, you know, serving Delaware mm-hmm. up there in Dover in a legislative hall and so on. So um, on both sides of the table, I think. And I think that the country is in such a position now that, that we just need to get to work on making things better. I, I agree. And, you know, I, I wish that uh, there was more of the Delaware way uh, over in D.C. where, mm-hmm. you know, you really do come together. Because the, the problems that we face as whether it's a state or a country aren't going to be solved by one party. Right. Aren't going to be solved by one ideology, ideology alone. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to take uh, a team. It's going to take a team. It's going to take input from both sides. And it's going to take sacrifice for both sides uh, in order to really really serve the, the the bulk of the people that are out there right I agree and I'm 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 actually thinking we're gonna have a really good year I, I'm feeling real good I mean like you say there's some big obstacles mm-hmm. but you know there's gonna be some big victories in that too I I, I, I think so as well um, and we really need to start focusing on the issues that really matter to the majority of people out there mm-hmm. and, and that's you know making sure that people got good jobs out there make sure right. there's that opportunity you know when kids graduate high school that they're not moving away from here right uh, in order to get a good job you know we want to keep people here we want to we want to grow our economy we want the the next generation to be moving in here not just the retirees right uh, because of the low taxes that we have here so there's a lot of opportunities that yeah, we, have. we want a bigger draw than that we, we want a bigger draw because that you know we only got a certain amount of time uh, that we can that we can uh, you know take uh, I'm not going to say take advantage but that we're going to have that population here correct um, before uh, they they move on that's right yeah so I agree with you on all of that. I, as a businessman, am looking forward to maybe it being easier for a person to open a business and mm-hmm. get going and um, you know be able to run their business and not be so strangled with red tape or permits yes. or things. You know, I mean, not saying we we become a lawless society, but no. just you know, just to where it was just more doable and it would be more encouraging for people to want to start a business in Delaware. Yeah, I, I, I agree, know? and and that's something that we've had conversations with with uh, with uh, John Carney about already. Mm-hmm. Um, is, is reforming some of the regulatory model that we have here in Delaware so that it is a bit easier for a, a business, a small business, a medium-sized business uh, to either, one, be able to form, you know, move to a new location so they can expand and, and expand and hire more people. Um, you know, we've got uh, a lot of red tape now. We've got a lot of expenses that go along with uh, being an employer now, right. uh, you know, aside from paying the employees, you know, you've got your insurance, you've got, you know, your your payroll taxes, you, you've got all these other things. Competitive that, wages. Yeah, competitive wages. You've got all these things that, uh, unfortunately, not a lot of members of the General Assembly have actually run a business. Oh, no. Uh, For sure. So, they're clueless, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Just, they have no idea what it's like to go out and try to earn 10 or $12 an hour. Right. And, and, and they don't know... 
you know, a lot of them have the mentality that, well, you're a business owner, you're the one that's raking in all the profits and, and right. making the money uh, at the expense of the employees. But little do they know, most of the time it's the exact opposite, where oh. a employer will many times sacrifice some of his or her, his or her right. own pay in order to keep their employees, keep them happy, and keep the competitive wages there. So, well, the employer is the only one that's allowed to work 80 hours a week and not get paid overtime. Exactly. By law, yeah. by law, the state protects the employee pretty darn good. Exactly. But the poor employer, he gets to work night and day and right. not, not get anything extra for it. Right. You're allowed. Right. You're allowed. Right. Yeah. You're allowed. But you're not allowed to have an employee do that or, you know. But anyway... I'm excited. I appreciate all you do. I've got to know you over the past few years, and you seem to be real concerned with the community you live in, and I love yeah. that. Yeah. You know, you're active, you're out, and you're about, and you care, and you want to make a difference. Well, you know, I, I grew up here. You know, I moved away for a few years and, and came back. But, uh, you know, I just I, I, I love the people around here. I, I just, I, you know, I've got a real close connection with them. Uh, I've, I've always loved Sussex County. I've always loved Delaware. And uh, I've, lived, I've lived in Delaware all my life, even though I moved up upstate uh, to to the northern county. Okay. Um, you know, I've been a Delawarean my whole life. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I, I really love where we are here. Here. I, I love, you know, where Delaware is. It's it, it is that diamond state. It is that jewel along the Mid Atlantic. And uh, you know, we're we're very fortunate to be here. Well, good. And I'm fortunate that you are our senator. So, awesome. um, and I am excited about the new governor. I mean, I think he's going to hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. He's got plenty of challenges and plenty of opportunities to wow us. Yeah, he does. He so does. he's it's, so it, it's, it's all on him now. It, it, it's time for the rubber to meet the road. That's right. Yeah. So, all right. Anything else? No, I just, uh, you know, everybody be be safe out there today. All right. Well, thanks yeah. for coming. This was your first time on my show. It, it is. And, you so, know, it, uh, it is a nice setup. Dan Dan was right. You know, I was trying to visualize yeah. it as Dan was describing it, but uh, you, you really have a nice setup here. We do. Uh -oh, yeah. Colin's got something. Uh-oh. Yeah. Have, have you ever seen a television studio with a deer camera in it? I, I did notice the deer <laughs> camera as well, yes. Yeah, I, I, I do have to say, when I walked in and sat down, that was one of the first things I noticed was the deer camera. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, that is that, one that's of the Brooks's, security camera. Just in case. That's, that's our security camera, that's security and that's one camera. of Brooks's more professional installs. Well, you know, that, that looks good. You know, it's, it's, He made the bracket. He did. <laughs> I'm impressed, yes. Okay, I was impressed. He I was know. relieved. He was glad it was over. And, and that it didn't fall. Exactly. exactly. Didn't fall. Yeah. Right. Last yeah, thing I, we want somebody to break in and the uh, camera fall uh -huh. I thought this was a deer stand. It's got windows. It's got a bathroom. It's got heat. Right. It's got everything. <laughs> the television. So, um, very nice. But I'm um, Colin and Colin the second do a good job yeah. with the TV side of things. Mm -hmm. And Brooks does the radio side. And Brandon takes a bunch of pictures. So we got quite an archive there. And um, we have people on. And we're actually on our fourth year of being on radio. That's great. Congratulations. And um, next Saturday, if you might want to stop by, but we are going to be celebrating our one year of being on My Cozy TV, okay. and we're having a big party at the Dry Zone Red Barn. Ah, oh, we got okay. a chef Leo. They're on sixteen. Yeah, yeah, Chef Leo from Leo's Modern Mixtures in Rehoboth is mm -hmm. coming. He's going to cook up a breakfast. We're going to serve breakfast for free. We're going to have a big cake. We're going to have the prize wheel. So if you can make it, this is your official invitation. Well, thank you. I appreciate All the right, invitation. Next Saturday. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave you if that's okay. That's fine. All right. All, All right. right. Take care of yourself. Yep. All right. Thanks, Jim. All right. See yep. you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, everybody, that was Senator Brian Pettyjohn, a good guy, out and about, cares about his community, and does a good job. All right, Brooks, what have I missed? We're going to light up the heaters in a little bit, or when are we going to do that, the Val Sixes? It's probably going to be I more guess. along the well, lines. Well, Brandy can turn them on anyway, so yeah. they can be doing some... Well, he's going to do... We're going to get a shot of... Before. What, what it looks like right now. Oh, okay. I got you. That way you okay. can, they can see once you turn them on. What well, we're switching the camera to that now? We're going to just for a quick second. Okay. Uh, no good shot. Okay. No good shot. Never what? mind. You want to go out and talk about the... Okay. All right. I'm on the other mic now. The yellow one. Show. We can show it. All right. We're going to go outside in a minute. But anyway, do I go outside? Yes. All right. Okay. So, folks, I'm out in the snow. As you can see, it really is snowing. All right. And um, we're on Route 13 in Bridgeville, and Weller's is closed today, so don't come out. But we've got these heaters called Val 6s, and we're going to start them up in a little bit, and we're going to show you, because they don't heat air, they heat objects. And we're going to see if it can heat the cement and melt the snow. That's our overall goal. And if this works, we're going to petition Dot to put one of these on the front of every truck instead of a snowplow. 
Okay, we're going to look at that because the valve six heaters are awesome, and that way when they're stopped at a red light or whatever, they can be heating the road in front of them. It's my newest concept, and I'm going to pitch it to the governor-elect next Thursday at J.D. Shuckers at 9 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And we're going to use this video as proof. All right, can I come back inside now? <laughs> it's freezing out here. All right. I should have worn my hat. My Below freezing. Yep. So anyway, so um, hold on. I don't want to fall. <laughs> that would have been good, wouldn't it? You didn't have me on camera there trying to climb up that, did you? All right. Unfortunately, that would have been a good one. All right. So we're having a good time. It's snowing out. Look at me. I'm covered in it. My head's freezing cold. You liked that snowplow idea, didn't you guys? <laughs> that was a good idea. That was a good one. I'm thinking on my feet. Obstacles, opportunities. I can see what you could, you could probably hook it right into their diesel. Oh so, my gosh, it could feed the tank. Yeah, I'm yes. like, yeah, we could we could really make this thing work. Yes, get rid of them snowplows. <laughs> and just <laughs> oh my gosh, could you imagine the NFL would have nothing on us. <laughs> You can put the the big EPXs on the back and make it look like it's got jet engines. Yes. Yeah. All right. We're really getting going to get big with this one. Here we go. <laughs> All right. What is next? Um, have I talked about Eagles Nest Church? You have not. Oh, I should call Pastor Bob. Eagles Nest Church has church on Saturday nights, which tonight at six thirty. To the best of my knowledge, they are. But you should check the website just to be on the safe side. And then they have it on Sunday mornings at nine thirty. And Eagles Nest Church is my church. It's not my church like I own it. It's the church that I go to. In other words, and um, I've been going there quite a while. So anyway, I just want to invite you to Eagles Nest Church in Milton. If you've never been, uh, we're very very active with children. So if you have little kids from a newborn up to uh, in the college, uh, we've got something for everybody. We've got. Um, Oh, I forgot what it's called. We've got 220, and then we also have um, Kids Cove for the kids. So we have everything. We've got Kids Cove. Amy Brown takes care of all that, and then Matt Windsor takes care of the 220. So if you have kids, bring them. If you got grandkids, bring them, okay? Eagles Nest Church is located in Milton, and like I say, they have services on Saturday night at 630 and Sunday morning at 930. And um, as far as I know, everything is a go. But I want to give you their website. They also have an app, too. So if you got a phone, Android, or iPhone, you can download the app. It's the Eagle's Nest app there at the, what's it called, the Play Store, the iTunes Store, or <laughs> wherever you get wherever you get an app from. But anyway, they have an app, and you can learn a lot there. You also can listen to some of the services there if you want to. So Pastor Bob Weed is the lead pastor there at Eagle's Nest, and it's eaglesnest.ch on the web, eaglesnest.ch on the web, and it's also eaglesnestch on Twitter and Facebook. But like I say, every Saturday night at 6.30, Sunday morning at 9.30, um, I've been going for years. I really like it, so it's the first of the year. If you're thinking about you know checking out a church, check out eagle's nest if you would um there's free parking um i know that sounds silly but anyway there is free parking but um it's a real nice family friendly church so um if you're looking for a good church that preaches the word of god that has relevant and timely messages i encourage you to check out eagle's nest okay in milton delaware 684 3149 is the number eaglesnest.ch on the web and eagle's nest ch on facebook and twitter all right, what is next, Brooks? We're going to we're going to have Barry from Dry Zone on about eight o'clock ish, somewhere mm -hmm. in there, right? Yep. Um, can I mention that Weller's discount card special again? We had sure. a few phone calls. Mm -hmm. All right, it's basically this: we have a Weller's discount card. You can look on Weller's dot com and see it. What are they doing? Taking the heater out? Yeah, they're getting ready. They're getting prepped. Oh, this is going to be neat. <laughs> All right. So anyway. Go to Wellers.com, and you can see the Wellers discount card. It's listed right there. There's how many businesses are on this thing? 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 6, 10, 14, 18, 19 businesses. Okay, so there's 19 offers on this card. The card is 10 bucks, and my offer to you today is buy one, get one free, but you must call and leave your name and number, and we will get back to you next week. You can buy one for 10 bucks, get a second one for free. That brings your net cost down to 5 bucks a piece, okay? So if you want one, give us a call at 337-7300, 337-7300, okay? Next item is my accountant. George Luff, Luff and Associates. 
Um, I know a lot of people that have started dealing with him on their payroll, but Luff and Associates is an accounting firm. They have an office in Rehoboth, they have one in Milford, and they have one in Dover. I've dealt with them for years and years and years. Personal, I got rental properties, they manage that. They also help me with my um, Wellers. Utility trailers tax return, meaning they don't help me with my rentals. They don't fix anything. They help with the tax part and the accounting <laughs> part of my rental properties. Okay, Every time I say something, I think of the next question somebody's going to have. So anyway, I just want to let you know that Luff & Associates um, has a payroll service called Easy Payroll. Okay, So in other words, I deal with them for accounting work, and you can too. They're always looking for new clients. But if you own a business and you're just tired of fooling with payroll and you want somebody to take care of the payroll, they can help you with that, okay? You don't even have to deal with them for your accounting work in order for them to help you with your payroll. So if you got two employees or 102 employees, they can help you out. If you're just sick of all the rules and regulations and all the, the mess to, to do in payroll and you just say, look, I want to run my business and I want somebody else to do my payroll, even if you deal with another accounting firm for your accounting work, Luff & Associates can still also help you with your payroll. So their phone number is, now they're in Dover and Milford and Rehoboth. One phone number gets you to all of them. Please tell them I sent you if you would. It's 422-9699. 422-9699. Luff & Associates. LuffCPAs.com on the web. That's Luff, L-U-F-F. CPAs.com on the web. So anyway, I just want to let you know that if you need an accountant, if you need help with payroll, if you need anything or some advice or you're settling an estate or whatever, you give them a call, 422-9699. Now, they're setting up the Val 6s outside. Is that what we're doing? we got two of these things. Yes. All right, the Val 6 heater is this great big heater that heats <laughs> objects and not air. And you say, well, what difference does that make? Well, let's say you had a repair shop mm -hmm. or a warehouse or something, and you open the door all the time time or a business and the door keeps opening and shutting well if you're heating air guess what happens when you open the door your hot air is gone your hot air is gone okay these are infrared heaters they heat objects so they warm the floor they heat your desks if you have a repair shop and you're working on cars they would warm those cars up in other words you know and so they continue to radiate is what they do so they're a radiant infrared heater so anyway it is um called Val 6, mm -hmm. um, and I want to let you know that if you um, want to see one work, after we get done talking to Barry from Dry Zone, we're going to go outside and show you how they work. Um, if you are listening on the radio and you want to see this, you can go to Jim Weller on Facebook or on Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. You can go to My Cozy TV, which is on Comcast 204, Mediacom 99, or over the air at 31.2. Also, if you're listening or watching the show right now and you have to go or you don't have any time, I would get that picture out in the snow is what I would do. But anyway, if you um, are... Not able to, you know, continue listening or watching right now. You can go ahead and watch this show later on, anytime you want. So anyway, um, Barry from Dry Zone is going to be on in a few minutes, and um, we have got him here in the studio. And uh, we're going to take a break in a couple minutes, and we're going to talk about some other things. And we have Colin back on, and then we are going to go ahead with. Um, more of the Weller Does Delmarva show. So we do have the shows always stored at WellerDoesDelmarva.com. WellerDoesDelmarva.com. All of the shows are there if you want to watch them. Are they also on YouTube? Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. they can go to YouTube also if they mm -hmm. would, okay? Yep. So anyway, um, other than that, Weller's is not open today, but you can call and leave a message if you need to. We'll be back here on Monday morning at 9 o'clock. You can go to wellers.com and click on some of our ads, and I'm going to just run through some of the specials. Is there anything that really sticks in your mind, Brooks, that has been selling like crazy? I know that um, we have tires and wheels for trailers on sale. Yes. I see a lot of those people buy two and four at a time, mm -hmm. and we actually have them priced that way. Yeah. You know, the most popular ones, the 205, 75, D15, 5 Lug white wheel, ninety nine seventy five for the tire and wheel. Mm -hmm. I saw them down the road here at one of the big box stores, one hundred twenty six dollars. Yeah, so we're like uh, substantially yeah. less than they are. Yeah. And then that but deal gets even better if you need two well, or because four. Because it's two for one eighty nine seventy five. Yeah, and then four for three sixty five. Yeah, you know what that is a piece. Um, three sixty five for four, four of them. is uh, it's so. Ninety dollars and ninety-one dollars, I think, is what it comes out to I don't know what's nine and nine. Ninety-one twenty-five. Yeah, ninety-one twenty-five. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to let you know that we have specials where if you buy one, you get one or two or four. Also, the shop 
Yes. The shop's wide open, not today, but um, we have plenty of openings if people need their trailer worked on. So anyway, we're going to be back in a couple minutes, back on the radio. We're going to talk to Barry from Dry Zone in a minute. We're going to go outside in a minute. Are we going outside now? or? Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to get my jacket on so you can start talking. Okay. Colin. All right. So we're going outside. We're going to take a look at these heaters out here, and this is amazing. Okay. We, uh, we started them up a little bit early, and uh, we want to make sure... We wanted to make sure they had time to do it. Well, it's working faster than we thought, and it's just melting everything. I've got your mic out here, Jim. So, uh, as you can see, these things are amazing. So, I want to talk about Wall Service Center while we're out here. We're at 220 Northeast Front Street in downtown Milford. We are closed today uh, due to the snow, but look at look what these things are doing, Jim. Wow. We just started they them up. They literally are warm in the ground. I was thinking, I was like, man, we need to get them going because, uh, because the... Uh, uh, snow is getting deeper out here. I wanted to make sure it would actually show it, but right. It's, and I'm so short, I didn't want to trip. <laughs> right in the snow. They wanted to be up to your to your. Uh, there goes Del Dot doing a so, great uh, job. So anyway, Wall Service Center. We're at 220 Northeast Front Street, downtown Milford. We can do everything from uh, oil changes on up to replacing an engine, replacing a transmission. I see you moved a little bit closer. Yeah. In front of those heaters. Just I did. To, just to block it so it yep. wouldn't melt as much. Now, can you still schedule an appointment at wallservicecenter.com? Uh, yeah, I think you can. So go okay. there. Somebody go there and try it and see. Just for the heck That's of it. That's a good idea. We All need right, to test good. it. I haven't tested it in a while. <laughs> okay. I think it's being tested every day. Yeah. Wallservicecenter.com. But anyway, if you want to schedule an appointment or request one. But um, they're closed today, but open Monday. Open Monday, yep. 8 o'clock, 7.30. 7.30. 7.30, Monday morning. a.m. Okay, but you also can they drop their car off over the weekend? Yeah, I would. I wouldn't drop it off this weekend because you got to plow because the we're going to be plowing snow, right? So, but, uh, well, but most of the times the you can drop it off over the weekend. You can drop it off overnight. There's a mail slot in the front door. Yeah. Just drop your keys right in there. This weekend, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just right, one more thing to, plow the drive to have to plow around. But all right, these Val six heaters are amazing. That is okay um, for. Those that are watching, I don't know if you can see them, but they burn diesel or kerosene. And believe it or not, I don't remember how many BTUs this one is. Do you know, Brandon? A hundred and some thousand BTUs. Anyway, this thing here operates on less than one gallon an hour. Less than a gallon an hour. So think about that. You know the price of diesel fuel or kerosene compared to propane? One gallon an hour um, or less is what this runs on, hundred and some thousand BTUs. Now these are not for in your house, but when I used to have the big red barn on Route 16 in Ellendale, which is now the dry zone red barn, I used to heat that building with one of these heaters. And we would run around in there in t-shirts. You know, it was amazing. But what it does, and you can see what it's doing to the ground, it's heating this cement right in front of it. So it heats objects, and then the objects continue to radiate heat. Where if you had like a repair shop, and every time you open the garage door, you lose all your heat. With this, everything in there will continue to radiate heat. So they are amazing. And they're this, full of safety features as well. Oh, right? yes, They get yes. knocked over or oh, something. Yeah. No if they, question. If they overheat yep. or something fails, they don't yep. shut it down. And this is how it. close you can be to it. So they're amazing heaters. We have a smaller version called a Daystar. I actually just took one of them home for my wife. She uses it um, when she works out in her shop, and she loves well, it. That's the one we use at, uh, at uh, yes. uh, Yuletide Farm to heat that yes. tent. Yes, Brandon Warfel has job. one. Yep, and it actually it thawed out the other heater. It wasn't pointed at it. It yep. was just in the tent. It thawed the other heater out, so it worked. Yeah, it's, it, is, it is just amazing. So anyway, uh, I do want to tell you the roads look like they're getting worse. They are. So if you are watching or listening, you need to seriously consider um, just not going out if you don't have to, okay? It is snowing pretty briskly. Are you going to turn the camera? But anyway, so for those that are watching, it is snowing pretty good, and uh, the Val 6s are doing a great job. But we're watching the traffic go by, and everybody's just kind of poking along. The state police are actually going by with their lights on. So in other words, um, we really want to encourage people to not go out if you don't have to. If you have to, you have to. But Weller's is not open today. Walls's is not open today. Uh, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. It's just not worth the risk. So anyway, um, you are watching Weller Does Del Marva, and I'm going to go back inside in a minute or two, but I think Colin's showing some of the snow and so on, and um, there's the truck. It's all snowed over, and um, I don't know if you're zooming in on the road, maybe, but um, you can see the traffic. There's very little traffic, and they're all going nice and slow and easy, so uh, don't take any chances. It's just not worth the risk. 
But um, I want to let you know that uh, we have a lot of specials at Wellers.com. If you've never checked out my website, I'll tell you one more thing that's there is there's a video of me. Uh, given my testimony, it's right on the front of the website. And uh, if you get some time today, click on that. And learn a little bit about Jim Weller. It'll tell you about me. Um, it's me doing the talking, but um, it's quite an interesting and informative. Um, have a cup of coffee or something like that and relax. It's going to make you laugh some. It's going to tell you a lot about who I am and what I've dealt with in my life and who I am now. So anyway, um, that's at Wellers.com. Plus, you, while you're there... There's all kinds of specials. Um, you can click on where it says current ads, and um, there's a lot of stuff there. So anyway, I'm going to go back inside if that's okay. Are we done out here? Are we good? All right, my head's getting cold. I'm going that way because I'm scared to death. I'm going to slip and fall right there. All right, now I don't want to have to find out who the landowner is and see why I slipped and fell. But anyway, I'm going back inside. So um, we're having a lot of fun here today. And here's Barry from Dry Zone, just getting all ready. He's all amped up on caffeine, and um, he's got a lot of snow shoveling to do today, probably. He's in makeup right now. So. Oh, he's in makeup. Yeah. All right. Now, you got me on the other microphone? I sure do. Folks, we're having a good time. Brooks is here. Brandon's here. Colin's here. Colin's the sec. Colin's the second. Colin the second is here. And Barry from Dry Zone is here. So we're having a good show. We thank you for tuning in and watching. And um, if you want to call and say good morning, feel free to do so. It's 337-7300, 337-7300 if you want to say hi. And um, we have a lot of storm-related things available at Wellers. Um, I would like to talk about these snow shovels if I could. Sure. Can I, Brooks? I think that would be a great idea. Right. We have two versions for you, folks. All right. The first version is the primo version this is top of the line <laughs> um here it is right here i was somewhere the other day they were fifteen dollars and 99 cents and that's about the going price 12 bucks 15 bucks 17 bucks anywhere in there okay these are nice snow shovels these are brand new we've got them for eight dollars a piece okay that's not a joke it's not a misprint eight bucks a piece for brand new snow shovels okay? so you so you could buy two for the same price you're buying one at another yeah you could so that would wow. be his and hers yeah you know or if you got a co-worker at work that way you both can shovel snow okay it's not limited just to one person so we have that now here's another thing we have we've learned a lot about storing inventory mm -hmm. and this is what's called a less less than perfect snow shovel okay you look at it and you say my gosh Jim it looks exactly like the other one you just had well it is exactly like the other one I just had except what's wrong with this one they have minor dents or dings or cracks or something What's wrong with this one? There's a, it's cracked along the up top, all the way up top. Up top, right where the the uh, plastic meets the the wood where? there, where the screw is. You'll see it. It, it kind of makes like a U crack. Well, I can't find it. Hold on. <laughs> so this is less than perfect, and I can't even find it, Brooks. <laughs> I think you've got this one mixed up with another one. No, I'm, I'm confident it's got a crack in it. Well, it's only five dollars, folks, and I can't even find the crack. But anyway, they're telling me there's something wrong. Brandon, can you find it? I can't find it. This is real. Yeah, you don't want me to hit you with it. <laughs> I hit that, him one time yeah, with a... That, that was right. quite funny. What? Right there. All right, hold on. Let me show you this. It's right here. I got it. I got it. I found it. Okay, so this has a minor, 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 minor crack. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyway... That's what's wrong with it, and it's only $5. So we have, they're called less than perfect, and we will spend the time to point out what's wrong if you want. But anyway, they're 5 bucks, all right? And the perfect ones are $8, all right? So either way, we have got the deal on snow shovels um, if you can wait till Monday to get one, okay? <laughs> These rubber boots, $10 a pair. They're a brand called Lacrosse. What are they called? A five buckle? Rubber boot, you slide them over your boots or your shoes or whatever. Ten dollars a pair. We've got jumper cables for like ten bucks a pair. So we got a lot of neat stuff. It's Wellers.com if you would take the time to go there and um, 
just browse around, click on where it says current ads, or the whole website's full of stuff, and uh, so on. So um, that's that. Brooks, what else do we need to know? Are we on the radio? Not quite. Almost. But we are streaming live on Facebook. Absolutely. We're on My Cozy TV. Hey, we did just have a caller. They might have called about the Weller's discount card. I had made the offer, buy one, get one free, okay? Buy one, get one free. They're $10 each, so you buy one for 10 you get another one for free. Brings that's your net a, cost yeah. down to five bucks a piece. That's a great deal. Yeah, it's a great deal. So, do we want to take a phone call, or what do we want to do next? Sure. Do you get somebody to doing, call? When I'm not talking, do <laughs> yeah. me a favor. I started talking. <laughs> oh wow! No, so, I need you to stop yeah. talking. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm All right, so anyway, Wellers.com has a lot of different things. Wellers Utility Trailers is closed today. Um, I don't know what else to say other than as I watch the cars go by, please be careful. Everybody's really slowing down, and um, it looks kind of treacherous out there. Is this other heater visible? No, it's not visible. It's not visible. Brandy, can you move it over? All right, this other heater is a twin head propane heater. You put it on top of a propane tank, like one you would use for your gas grill or something like that. In other words, um, so um, they're real handy. I w again, these heaters, that I would not use these in your house or anything, but again, out in a repair shop or a workshop or something like that. But you could take your gas tank that you use with your gas grill and... Um, the tank doesn't come with it, but it's just the heater, and it's a twin head heater. You can turn on one, or you can turn on both of them. How much are these? Ninety-seven fifty. Ninety-seven fifty. I just was in a store where they were like a hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Ninety-seven dollars and fifty cents. Do we have many? Does anybody know? No, we're gonna we have only, a few. Yeah, only a few. Less than five. All right, ninety-seven fifty, and we have less than five. They're going to go pretty quick. They do not include the tank, but they're brand new, a twin head. And um, do we have some demo models that we're selling also? All right, we got some demo models. I'll sell them for fifty bucks. Okay, ones that we have started up or turned on or whatever. So, um, is there just one or two of them? I think. Okay, so if you want a demo model of this heater, they're fifty bucks. And if you want a brand new, fresh in the box, they're ninety-seven. Uh, we've only got a few left, or you can get them elsewhere for a hundred and some dollars. But anyway, it's a twin head infrared propane heater. Okay, so you can go ahead and move that down. I'm going to talk to Barry here from Dry Zone here in just a minute or two. Um, no, that wasn't Barry. Barry has a new hairdo, and I believe he used the Weller's discount card when he got it. Come on over here, Barry, and tell me if that's a true rumor or not. I had somebody say, I just cut Barry's hair. Oh, Colin did too? All right, where did Colin go? In where? Milford. All right, so Supercuts in Milford. Colin the second went there and got a haircut. And how much did you save? Two dollars. And Barry, how about you? Did you get a haircut? Yes, I did. Did you go to Supercuts? Supercuts. And how much did you save? Uh, Two dollars. Two dollars. So you buy this card for ten dollars, and every time you get a haircut, you save two bucks. It's crazy. Did they happen to give you any trouble? Was it easy to use? Uh, she wanted to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I like this She card. wants the discounts. <laughs> so anyway, there is exactly how the Weller's discount card works. You go to Supercuts, you get a haircut, and they knock $2 off the bill. You go to Mama Maria's while you're there, and um, they'll knock 10% off your bill. So anyway, if you want a good deal, they're only 10 bucks each. Right now, we're making a right now only offer. If you call and leave your name and number, you can buy one and get one free. You can't buy 50 and get 50 free. You can buy one and get one free. Buy one for 10 bucks and you get another one free. Brings your net cost down to $5. Now, we're officially going to start talking to Barry from Dry Zone. Good morning, young man. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Do we have anything? Oh, we got a big event next Saturday, right? Yeah, it's, it's happening on the 14th. It's we happening on the 14th. Big. But on your way in, how were things? How'd you find the weather and the roads? And Adventurous. Adventurous? Um, you know, you just, people just gotta take their time. Um, the, it was early when I got out there, so it's it slippery, though. It's slippery. Yeah, it and is slippery. I got a 6,000 pound truck, and it'll slide pretty good. Wow. <laughs> so don't pull and, off um, Yeah, please be careful, everybody. Yes. Everybody. Watch out for Barry and watch out for yourself. 
Yeah, it's coming down pretty good out there. It's yeah. Collective, but. So we're closing today, Wellers is. We decided it was a big corporate decision that was made earlier this morning, and we decided to close. So anyway. Well, we were already um, closed on Saturdays, but we did uh, have we pulled our crews off because we had people working at, or scheduled to work. So scheduled we had to, to work. That's, that's a good idea. Too dangerous to have those guys in yep, the box trucks it, running around. Yeah, it's worth the risk. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to need them on Monday. Right. Okay. Well, anyway, dry zone. Let's talk a little bit about dry zone. Well, you know, we do have the big event coming up. Um, you want to talk about that? Yeah, we'll throw that in there real quick. Um, Man, it's going to be a big time. We've got Leo coming in there from Leo's Modern Mixture. In Rehoboth. And now, Leo's going to be with us till about 8.30, quarter of 9. Um, he's going to be able to stay till 9. Till 9. So he's cooking breakfast right there yes. on the spot. Yeah, he's, he's bringing all his goodies. And Do you know what he's cooking? Yes, but I can't pronou- I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. All right. Do you know how much it's going to be for breakfast? It's going to be free. So we're, we've got Le- Chef Leo coming in. Yes. To cook breakfast, and breakfast is going to be free. Absolutely. All right. And we're going to have coffee if people want it's coffee or water or whatever. Right. All right. And then they can hang out with us. And we're going to have a prize a wheel. Oh, oh. The prize wheel. Yes. Everybody and that spins is going to win. They're going to win. If we have 50 people come in and spin the wheel, we're going to have 50 prizes. It's going to be a hoot. That's going to be crazy. So let's just kind of review what we're talking about. Dry zone is dry zone. Everybody's heard us advertise. This is an opportunity for people to physically mm-hmm. come into the dry zone barn. Yes. Browse around. Have a seat. Watch us do the show. Weller does Del Marva. Have breakfast. No charge for that. Correct. i got a big cake coming. This uh, celebrating, because we're celebrating. It's a celebration of my one-year anniversary of being on My Cozy TV. Bob Backman, the owner of WRDE, is going to be there with us live for the morning. Um, There's going to be some other people stopping by. I think Kevin Short and his wife, Debbie, are coming by. And um, I can't remember who else is coming, but it's going to be a busy morning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're having breakfast. Right. We're giving free tours of the Dry Zone Barn. If Absolutely. people haven't ever saw what you've done on the inside, you've remodeled it. It's kind of cool looking. Yes. Um, will you be willing to give out some of the Dry Zone packets if anybody wants one? We will have people on hand to help them out with that. Okay. So you'll have some Dry Zone mm-hmm. people. But they're, they're, we're not trying to – there's no sales pitch Correct. here. It is a fun morning. That's all it is. We're asking yep. people to write it on their calendar right now, next Saturday, January 14th, the Dry Zone Red Barn, Weller Does Del Marva, is going to be broadcasting live – and here's the scoop. From 7 to 9, we got free breakfast. We're right. going to have free cake. We're going to be spinning the prize wheel. We have gotten an official notice that we're going to stay on My Cozy TV till 10 o'clock. Holy cow. That sounds so awesome. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to need to bring the prize wheel and have all kinds of interesting things. There's no charge to spin the wheel, no obligation. You just spin the wheel. What were you going to say? I also have down that Dr. T is going to be making a Dr. T is going to be there. That's mm-hmm. right. Where would you get that from? From the Weller Does Del Marver schedule on WellerDoesDelMarver.com. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, he's supposed to be. I just haven't confirmed it with him. Now you've made me nervous. <laughs> Oops. But anyway, now he's supposed to be. So it's going to be so a great anyway. time, and then we're going to be running the place there while Bill and Heather are gone. Oh, Barry, I, I can't tell you what my question is, but I oh. want you to be prepared. I want everybody in this room to be prepared for his reaction when I ask this question. Uh-oh. I have an idea for Dry Zone that I want to present to you live on the air next week. Okay? Okay. Because you have a new position, correct? I do. You're the marketing guy. Yes. All right. And I'm under the belief that you've got a lot of decision-making power. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> my, my goal my goal is to help you with that next next Saturday. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I want everybody to have their cameras ready because I have a question for Barry at Dry Zone that I want to ask on the air because I want it to be live, okay? Oh, it's going to be live. I mean, whether you shoot me down or, or say it's a great idea, I want it to be live. And I'm just excited. Bill's out of town. So he won't be in the way. <laughs> right. Bill won't be messing up this decision. In other words, so it's something I want to ask Barry. I want everybody to be excited about it. I want people to be there to witness this. I have something that I think Dry Zone should do that's big. I'll even use the word huge. Okay. And I want to oh, ask boy. you on the air. I mean, you can say no. 
I want you to understand, if you can do it in front of all these people, you can say no. Well, that's where the but, sale starts then, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, that's where the negotiations begin. <laughs> Ask for what you want and settle for what you can get. Right. So anyway, I'm just saying I got a great idea. But Dry Zone is a good local company, just like this, hosting this event, you know, having free breakfast and free cake and stuff. Just a great way to just say, come on in and say howdy. Meet the fine folks of Absolutely. Dry Zone. It's going to be a great time. You guys had a busy week? We have. That's what's a, the what's the year been like so far? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, like no other. But it's been it's been great. Okay. Um, is that what we got left? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, some other things I want to talk about. Well, with this kind of weather, you know, um, people are concerned. About, I talked about it the other night on the radio is you know you don't really plan for when it snows. No. They, they, so when you hear it come in, you go get your milk. You know everything you need to make French toast and fill your car. <laughs> and not worry about your crawl space or your basement. Right. So people may not think about or even people who already have sump pumps and things, but you know this is the time that electric will go out. Oh. How long will it go out? How yeah. long does an electric sump pump run without electric? Um, none. <laughs> Not. <laughs> that should be a contest. That should um, be a contest. So, and a lot of people don't think about that thing until something happens. I would have never happens. thought of it until I met you guys. Right, and then most people don't either until it happens. Right. And then, and then you're reacting. Now you're reacting. Fixing. So we have some, you know, we have a thing called an ultra sump that we can add to um, almost any sump pump system out there, or it can be purchased with ours. So that way it will give you peace of mind when something like this happens. Wow. So we can even go, if we do an inspection. So you can install a sump pump that runs off electricity. Mm -hmm. And then it actually can have its own backup sump pump that in the event the amount of water it has to pump is greater than the first pump was designed to pump. Correct. Then you're saying there's a third sump pump that would be a battery-operated sump pump. Correct. I mean, now, in all honesty, when you say a battery-operated sump pump, I think of like, you know, six or eight AA batteries, <laughs> you know, in there, or maybe some Cs or Ds. How long can a battery-operated sump pump pump water? Well, the 12-volt the one, um, the battery on charge will run f for 12,000 gallons. Really? It'll pump out. 12,000 gallons. On a single charge. That's pretty good, isn't it? It is. Now, you know, that's going to vary on how, because your pump doesn't usually run that way. Right. Right. But the um, it's but but it's so, going to run for a little bit. It's oh, going to yes. make a significant difference. And you know, it could, your electric might not go out. It might go out for an hour. But I've been to some homes where an hour is bad. Yeah, an hour <laughs> is bad. Those homes yeah. are, are 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 sinking. <laughs> right. So it's just a good safety feature. Absolutely. And you know, you've already invested this much in your home, and what's what's another piece of line? Just have it. Right. Know, Right. Uh, like all of our vehicles have spare tires. You yeah. Know, we go out the road with that. Yes, they do. And some have jumper cables. <laughs> <laughs> Just and to be on the safe side. Now, the one thing I did bring, not counting for the storm, is I got some photos of some job that we just finished up with. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Oh, what are, are they on your keychain nope, or in your wallet? Or where are these the photos? All right, let's take a look. Tell these us about it. These are before and after of uh, some basement windows. Something you did recently? Yes. All right, the basement windows. Okay. Okay. So um, that one there is showing the original window, and the typical. And it has What's that on the outside? Oh, a plastic grate that you can get like from Lowe's for like okay. a few bucks, and it doesn't okay. cover anything. But right. the window keeps the frogs out. When we go in the inside, it's a single pane glass window. Okay. The. Um, so you take that window out. Yes. You do this yourself. Oh, look at that! That's the finished product there. That is the finished product. So that we, that's got to be much more energy efficient. Oh yeah, it's a double pane window. It can slide open if they needed to. Really? Um, it has a we. That's called a um, a device that allows more light to come into the window. <laughs> Obviously, um, makes a nice clear look. When you go to the inside, that's the old window. It looks a little rough. Mm -hmm. And they're drafty. They're not energy efficient. Heat loss. Right. So then, when you put the new one in there, it's coming. TV people probably already seeing it. Start talking about it as if it's so, a barrier. So it's a double pane window. Okay. Um, slides open. It slides open. It's all sealed in. So you guys it, did that work? Yeah, we do all that. Really? It's great. And then that homeowner had a problem with she was tired of the, it was drafty down there. Okay. Cold, and some water did come in that one window. but So we replaced the windows and those, and, those, and sun walls. So it was awesome. I wonder how she heard about you. I wasn't part of that, that job. So Just curious. Know. Just curious because I've, I've not we've not we've not advertised windows that much. In other words, you know. So I just wondered. Well, the lady that um, won the first giveaway, right? She had basement windows put in. Did she really? Mm -hmm. This was okay. on the job, but it had another one. Wow, the first contest. That was some nice looking work. 
I mean, the guys that work for you, they're not a bunch of subs. They're your people. They're our people. They're trained by us um, and basement systems. Um, so they, they take pride in their work. Obviously. Yeah. So what proud kind of show. warranty something like that have? Those windows have a 10-year warranty on them. 10-year warranty. Mm-hmm. My goodness. All right, so you can do windows in a basement. You can completely remodel a basement. You can put a mm-hmm. battery back up on a sump pump. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do. We can do it all. Have you been list- lifting any concrete lately? Have you been doing any lifting this week, Barry? When, that, uh, um, when the weather starts turning sour like this. Um, okay, yeah, you lighten uh, up on that. Yes. But um, it's a good time to get your estimates and, and get, get on the schedule. For yes. Um, they, I mean, they did some pot uh, a week and a half ago, but the problem is, is as the ground temperature gets below freezing. Can't do um, it. It's, you, don't, you don't want to do that. Okay. All right. But what we're talking about there is if you have some concrete that's sinking mm-hmm. or sagging, they can raise it for you. Yes. Uh, very inexpensively. So, you know, if you want to talk about that, because I guess right now is a great time to talk and schedule things and plan your budget, whether you want to finance it or whether you want to pay for it, you know, and so on. Um, call Dry Zone and get them out there. Absolutely. It's a right. free inspection. What's it's that number? 684. 684. 5034. 684-5034. Locally owned, locally operated, been in business over 10 years. Estimates are free. Right. Um, you still giving out the Weller's discount card or no? We still have a few left, so yes. So if you call and schedule an appointment, when you get your packet in the mail, it'll have one. It'll have the card in there, and then you'll have it automatically 5% off. 5%? Project. Man, that's pretty no cool. No matter what the project is. No matter what. Small or big. Absolutely. Really? So if it's like a $10,000 project, you'd still get 5% off? 5%. Really? That's 500 bucks. Yes. That's a pretty good discount. All right, so it's Dry Zone, Route 16 in Allendale. Big Red Barn. Big Red Barn. Everybody's invited next Saturday to come out. Um, I think you're rounding up some prizes for the prize wheel. Yep. I think our friend Jack Riddle's going to join us. Community and, Bank, I think, is going to round up some, a couple things. A couple things. So um, we're going to have a lot of fun. So I guess I want to throw this out there. If you own a business and you want to supply some giveaways for the prize wheel, feel free to bring them. Absolutely. Come in person. We'll let you man the prize wheel for a little bit, and we'll <laughs> let you give away things promoting your business if you want to. Is that okay, Brooks? Works for me. How about you, Barry? That's fine. Okay. Just make them kind of 10 or $15 gifts, something mm. like that. But um, we're looking for everybody that comes in to be a winner. So every person that spins it's going to be a winner. Right. We want everybody to have a good time. We're going to have free breakfast. Is Chef Leo ready for this? He says he is. He has no idea what he's in for, does he? <laughs> he's used to his own environment, you know, and so on. But Leo's, what is that called? Leo's Modern Mixtures? Modern Mixture. Modern Mixtures. Leo Mod- Chef Leo, but he's the owner. Yes. Okay, him and his wife, yeah. I believe. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, anything else you want to say? Just be careful out there. Be careful out there and um, get your free inspection, 684-5034. Got any help wanted positions? Yes. Do you? Um, I'm looking for marketing director. Uh, I'm looking for an assistant for me. Are you really? Yep. I yeah. was kidding. Yep. So we need. A, a Is there specific. any height or weight requirements? Nope. No kidding. <laughs> I could be Barry's assistant. Yep. Just, I uh, could help him spend for that data home. entry and things of that nature. Oh, skip me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already do it. Most of us will be Facebook posts and, oh, okay. and other social media um, stuff. I do not do as much as you think I do. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I surrounded myself with an unbelievable team of overachievers. So anyway, um, all right. Well, DryZone.com on the web. Six eight four fifty thirty four, and mark your calendar, please, and come join us. And if you own a business, and if you want to supply us with some giveaways for the prize wheel, come on, bring down. them on. Yep. Okay. All right. Anything else? That's it. All right. I'll see you next Saturday. I'll be there. Okay. Be careful, Barry. I guess I'll see you Wednesday. Is it Wednesday too? Wednesday, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. So Wednesday. it's all a blur to me. Wednesdays. I do want to mention Wednesdays real quick. It's live with Walls and Weller. And that's right, I forgot. Live with Walls and Weller is every Wednesday night we have got openings. So, in fact, I have a 7 o'clock opening right this minute for Wednesday night um, on Live with Walls and Weller. If somebody wants to be on, you need to get up with me about that. But normally we're pretty booked up, but we're, we're booking into March right now. So if you want to be on the show, let me know. We don't charge anything. It's Wednesday nights. Mark your calendar for that because we have a lot of fun. Colin Walls and I do it. We do it at the Catch It Live studio in Lincoln. And uh, we take callers and we have people on. I got a haircut there the other night. It was kind of cool, in other words. Um, And she was telling me, or she posted later, that the glasses she had, um, one of the lenses was broke. So I can't imagine what it would have looked like if both lenses were good. 
So anyway, so we're going to go outside in a few minutes and see how the Val 6s are doing. See you, Barry. It's a mess out there. Okay, watch yourself. All right, Colin, I guess um, we can... Um, have I got time? I'm out of time, aren't I? For you the you next got about commercial. two minutes. Two minutes. All right. I think I will wait and talk to Colin about Live with Walls and Weller a little bit. It's a brand new show. It I is. Think. Is this show number 10? It's going to be 10 coming up this week. Oh, don't yeah. forget this sign while you're here. Oh, okay. Okay. So anyway. So um, we shouldn't be mentioning this? Or? Well, it's another form of media. It is, right. But anyway, um, <laughs> Live with Walls and Weller is a live show that Colin and I started doing. And we started it. Is is this week number 10? Or you don't know uh, this this week coming up. Yes, this is show coming up show. will be number ten. Ten weeks. Number ten. Wow, that's amazing. Doesn't seem like that long. No, it's, it's Are like you sure? Only two months ago we started. Yeah, but anyway, so it's on Facebook Live. It's every Wednesday night from seven to nine. Right. We take phone calls. Same mm-hmm. phone number three three seven seventy three hundred. Uh, we have some giveaways or silly little contests and stuff like that. What was the one this week? How long does it take for my haircut to last? Right, and we had a you timer right there. Something. And uh, uh, how long was it? Thirteen, fourteen minutes and. 27 seconds or something out. like that? R- really? That's what held her up. It, right. it took that long? I, I was going to say like a minute and a half. She was milking it. <laughs> <laughs> she was milking it. She was going for all the air time she could get. But I she think. gave away a $50, $50 gift certificate, which is five free haircuts. Right. Wow, that's a great That's a great prize. Yeah, that was a great prize. <laughs> it was. So, wow. But the guy that guessed, guessed yeah. within 10 seconds. Is that amazing or what? That's he guessed good. 14 17, I think, and it was actually 14 27. Isn't that something? That was pretty good. Yeah. That's Colin a good guess. ran the timer. But she did my eyebrows, too, as you can see. So anyway, I mean, I think she got hung up there. <laughs> she did my eyebrows, as you can see. Would you guys keep up with me? Colin got it pretty good. He's getting punchy, folks. All right. So anyway, I'm ready to go play in the snow. I'm excited. Oh, let's talk about that. Okay. Later on today, oh, right. maybe. Later on today, maybe. we got to get some permits approved. But as long as we get our permits approved, we may do... A Facebook live show, live with Walls and Weller. Right from that studio. Right from that studio. And we're going to ask people, go ahead. For participation. We want your video. You're going to have to Skype us. So You're going to have to teach them. <laughs> we're going to have to figure out how to get your video into our video. I think right. we can do it. But uh, we want your participation. It's going to be fun. It's going to be... Uh, well, I think worst case scenario, they can comment at Live and Walls and Weller and, and put the video there if they had to. They could. They could, it's yeah. like a picture. But, but we would actually want to be like, interactive with them, be right. able to talk to them and tell them to go do stuff so and if slide you're down that out hill. today and you take a video, um, if you're going out and take some pictures, we may want to interface with you later on today. Yeah. Let's pick an approximate time. So um, it's 2 o'clock. Two sounds good to me. That's exactly what okay. I had in mind. Well, when you held two fingers up, you can't... It was that your cue? <laughs> yeah, that was my cue. Anyway, so folks, about 2 o'clock today, be on the lookout on Facebook for us, live with Walls and Weller. We think we're going to fire up a show. Is that right? Right. Sounds okay. like fun. All right. Now, now we're going to switch gears. <laughs> Make the cr- clutch grinding noise. <laughs> anyway, um, we, we can need fix a clutches. sound effect. Oh, you can fix clutches. We can fix clutches. At I never even thought of that. Yeah. Do people still have stick shifts? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, they're still around some. So, uh, honestly, you can um, fix a clutch? We absolutely can What's that can bearing and that yoke thing in there that moves called, back Called the throw-out bearing. Okay. Or the clutch release too? bearing is actually the proper term. What's that? You can fix them, too? Yeah, we can fix those, too. Okay. Yeah. When I was That's part younger, of a clutch kit. When I was younger and I had a car that you had to shift, mm-hmm. I remember this. You would... Put the gas pedal to the floor and then pop the clutch. And so you, you were replacing lots of clutches. We were replacing <laughs> lots of clutches. We were trying to get the front end of that Camaro off the ground. Clutch pressure plate throw out bearing. All the and, time. Yep. All the time. It was like bearing almost collar. a weekly event. Yeah. 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 Yep. I, I, so I, I fortunately, nothing ever came through the floorboard. <laughs> But um, we used to work that car over, boy. I can remember when I was a teenager, I got my license and lost my license within 30 days. <laughs> now, you talk about an overachiever. Uh-huh. Did you find it? No. Oh, okay. they took it. I learned about work permits Did at you? a very early age. I learned about work permits. It wasn't a DUI. So, um, oh, no, guessing. no, speed. Okay. Speed. All right. 
speed, speed, speed. Right. No, right. No DUIs in my lifetime. Okay. So um, that would be well worth capturing on Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> so Wall Service Center, we right. can do clutches. Yes. We can do transmissions. We can replace okay. transmission. We can replace an engine. Really? And uh, yeah. Yep. So uh, we can do most everything. Uh, brakes, mufflers. On, yeah. Yep. Yeah, brakes. I mean, we we love to do brakes. Now windshields. Brakes well, not now. You've been doing. We've them, been but, doing windshields. Yeah. Right. But, but windshields, we can do it. Wall. What about Service them Center. little motors that make your window go up and down? We can do those. Yep. Okay. Yep. Ro- motors and regulators. Yep. All right. Because this is the kind of weather. If you had a motor or regulator not working just right, it would really matter. Yeah. To well, you. let me let me give people a caution too for this kind okay. of weather. When your windows are frozen. Yes. And you know how a lot of uh, cars, you just hit the button once and it goes right. in, called automatic down. Right. If you just hit that button and your window's frozen, it's trying to keep putting that so window down. So it'll burn, burn up something can, or strip can, gears or something. Well, what a lot of them are cable-driven now, and it'll actually bust those cables. Really? Yep, it'll bust the cables in there. So if you hit happen to hit that and the window doesn't go down, Don't hit make it again. sure you hit the up button. Oh, okay. Hit the up okay. button so it stops trying to go down. Right, that's a good idea. Yeah, just a... Is that a free tip? That is a free tip. Now, okay. we don't the make any money gonna... when you don't do that, but that's fine. You know, uh, We're trying to prevent people from tearing your stuff up. Right. And that's what we do when we check a car out. You know, We say, hey, this needs to be done to this. So we're, we're trying to prolong the life of the vehicle for the customer um, by doing certain maintenance items on it. Now, I do want to understand, if somebody has a glass question, they just right. call and leave a message? or They can call, yep. and It's uh, not a drive-in thing. Glass, yeah. you got to schedule ahead of time. Usually, you have to schedule it. Yeah, but you can stop in and. But and I guess technically, you get your car there and drop it off if you got a bad windshield, and you'll get it worked out. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we can usually get glass. I mean, within the next day, it's right. It's not it's much different very than getting odd. parts. Right. Okay. Right. So I mean, because it's kind of new, we haven't talked about glass much lately. Right. So um, I just wanted to. Clarify. Yeah, and if you're looking for a local, locally owned, locally operated. Small or business you're not to do it, number. and you're not. Yeah, you're not right. dialing one eight hundred number and going to a call center. You're going to get one of us, and we're going to actually do the work right. for the you. The service you're used to at Wall Service Center, you're going to get with Eagle Glass. Absolutely, because yeah. it's the same people. Yeah, yeah, basically, that's right. It is. We just don't tell it. I'm saying that. Eagle Glass Company at Wall Service Center. That's right. my new catchphrase. Okay, Eagle Glass Company at Wall Service Center. Right. Four two two eight one one zero. Actually, doesn't Colin do the work? Yeah. Actually, okay, my son so in other words, your work. son's doing the work. So yeah. it's a family affair. Right, yeah. He's been doing it for a couple years now, and uh, he's really uh, grown into it, and he's he's doing a good job with it. He's, yeah. he's good with it. So I'm just saying, you know, if you need any kind of glass work, whether it's a side window, a rear window, a windshield, or whatever, right. and you want to deal with a company that's local, that you want to support local, Wall Service Center, one phone number for everything? Yeah, you can call it all, 422-8110. 8-1-10. I say okay. 8110. You say 8110. 8-1-10. Yeah. I do. All right, Brooks, are you okay? I am good. I'm Can great. I get a few minutes with Brandon? He's been here all morning. I think we're just about done with him after we do the heaters. But um, Brandon, I think, wanted to talk because he is probably the salesman of the week at the moment. So we'll just see. I'm not going to say Prepping anything. <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> I don't know. Brandon, are you awake over there? I am just waking up. You are dragging on us, buddy. Yeah, I was here at, at uh, 6.45 for my spot, and I, get, I guess I'm a little early. Uh, you're a little early. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got all day to wait. Yeah. All right. You going to go outside with me and help me with the Val 6s? I or? am. Yes. Okay. You saw one just the other day, didn't you, to somebody? Do you yeah. know what they were going to do with it? Uh, they producing? were heating. <laughs> yeah, they're producing heat. <laughs> They had a uh, fairly large shop. Um, they actually have okay. a couple large shops actually going to be coming back to me within the next couple of weeks to buy okay. a couple more. But um, just a, uh, his, I think he said it was a 24 by uh, 40 was his, okay. his shop. And Cheap he heat. heat it. Yeah. Gallon an hour, man. You can't beat it. Mm-hmm. Um, or a gallon an hour or less. Yes. You know, I mean, the biggest one burns less than a gallon an hour. And, and the cool so. thing about the biggest one is it's got different settings. Where oh, that's can, right. Yep. You have a high and a low, and then you have a temperature thermostat as well. Okay. I do have the uh, the BP, the BTU ratings that you were do looking you really? for. What's yeah. the big one? Because that's the demo model we've got in on sale. 140,000 BTUs per hour on, on high. Um, and then it also has a high and a low feature. The low is 100,000 BTUs. Really? Yep. And that's only three quarters of a gallon per hour. That's that's unreal because yeah. you know I don't know what diesel fuel costs three dollars a gallon or three something. It's getting um, close to that, yeah. Okay, well three dollars or something a gallon. I don't have anything here that only burns a gallon an hour of propane. Yeah, okay. and, the, and the tank capacity on that thing is fifteen point four gallons. So you're so, talking a full day out of yeah, it. So fifteen hours on high, twenty hours on on low. So that's 
Almost a full work day, oh, almost. <laughs> yeah, wow. Depending on who you are and who you work for. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just depends on if you're an over or an under. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go outside in just a minute. Is that right? Mm-hmm. And uh, see what the Val Six has been doing while we're going. Um, I do want to say that if you want to ever watch this show again or be on the show or buy any advertising, feel free to get up with me. If you want to be on live with Walls and Weller, get up with me about that. And if you want one of the Weller discount cards, buy one, get one free. Ten bucks, you get two of them. Give a call. 337-7300 is the number. 337-7300. Um, other than that, what else is going on? I'm going to get ready to go outside, Brooks, okay? Yep, we I should. I do. What were you getting ready to say? We should be back on the radio in about a minute. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go and get ready to go outside so you can tell them about a couple other specials or things that we have. Um just to, to let him know, he's sure, get himself ready. Over yeah, there, you gotta so. get prepped. Uh, okay. Well, we were talking about um, the shop and stuff a little bit earlier. Don't mention we still have some calendars. Yes, we do have I some mean, calendars. Don't forget <laughs> to <mention. laughs> Yes, we have calendars. So stop in and grab one of those. Absolutely free. Uh, don't stop in today. We're going to be closed today, but we will be reopened again on Monday. And um, but I wanted to go back to the, the shop. We do have a special going on for uh, repacking the wheel bearings. And we're back on the radio now. Okay. Um, but you can actually give us a call on Monday, and we can schedule you in um, to do a trailer tune-up. We check the lights. We check the jack. Uh, we check your brakes if it's got brakes. We'll uh, repack and inspect the wheel bearings, races, and spindles. Um, inspect the tire and wheel condition and adjust the proper air pressure. So I think we're going to be going over to Jim and Brandon now. They're going outside and going to take a look at the Val 6s. You guys can go ahead and take over. Yep. All right. Huh? You're on the air now. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know if Brooks is done talking yet or not, but we're just going to pull those right over top of him, okay? (laughs) So anyway, we are outside. I'm I'm joined by Brandon and two Val 6 heaters. This one here that I'm nearest, you may be able to see it, you may not, but if you look at the cement... When we started, it was covered with snow. Now the snow is gone, and now it's bare, dry cement. This one's and catching up as well. Yes, it is. So what? I mean, before you leave, you need to take my iPad. I need a video of this. No okay? problem. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, um, what we're trying to say to you folks is, if you own a business, a repair shop, or just have your own shop, and you want some cheap heat very affordable these are called val six there's a couple different sizes represented here and there's even some other sizes we have them the technology is unbelievable um what it does is it heats objects it's an infrared heater it burns diesel or kerosene It burns less than a gallon an hour. Now, think about that. If you have a propane heater heating your shop, you're not going to get away with five gallons an hour, in other words, you know. So what these do is they heat objects. So if you look at the cement where we're standing, we're outside in the snow right now, and it has... It has cleared the snow for, what, 10 feet maybe? Yeah, about 10 feet or so. Okay. But now... Yeah, the concrete is literally steaming. And what we're saying is it's now drying the concrete. As it's snowing. Yes. I need <laughs> you to go get my iPad and do it now, if All you right. will, please. I want to <laughs> we'll be do. in this video, okay? So anyway, um, I want to let you know that these are called Val 6 heaters. They're available here at Weller's. They're, they're not everywhere. They're amazing. I was watching a big football game, and I saw... All the guys sitting like on a bench and everything. And what did I see? I saw these Val 6 heaters warm in the area because it's warm in the bench. It's warm in the ground and so on. So if you own a shop, like say you got a shop with garage doors and they're always opening and closing and always opening and closing. Man, if you had these, they heat the objects so when you open the garage doors, you don't lose your heat. So anyway, I want to let you know they're called a Val 6 heater. Um, they're available at Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville. You can probably go on our website and see them there if you want. Um, they're priced to sell. This one here is a demo model. Well, in fact, both of these are demo models, and all that means is that we have put fuel in them and started them up for people to see them run, and you can stop in. We're closed today, but we'll be open Monday. So anyway, and... Um, I sent Brandon inside to get an iPad 10 minutes ago. Oh, are you here? I need you to get the iPad. It's right on my desk. And bring it on out here and take a video of me. 
What's he saying? I don't know what he's saying. Okay, well, anyway, it's all drying out. I think he's got another plan for me. I think what he's saying is I don't need to do this. So anyway, um, I'm going inside because I'm pretty well done. I think these are amazing heaters, and this is a live show. There's no question. So um, what is he doing? There must be something up. I've got to go inside and see what's going on. This is my last. Okay. I can't hear you. What's whose iPad? Oh, never mind. I'm so sorry. My iPad's not even in there. Don't do it now. You can't do it. I didn't have any idea what he was saying, folks. I left my iPad somewhere else. I don't even know where it's at. All right, I thought it was sitting right on the desk. Well, anyway, take a look at these. Look at the ground. This is amazing, isn't it? I'm amazed. All right, you got the other iPad? All right, now I'm going back in now. I'm too cold. I'm a frozen pumpkin. All right, I'm going back in. So anyway, folks, if you've never seen one of these, you can tell I'm rather excited about them. I'm so excited I didn't realize I didn't have an iPad with me today. But anyway, um, they're available at Weller's. They're called a Val 6. Uh, we've sold many of them. The people that buy them really, really like them, and they're unbelievably efficient. Thank you, Brandon. All right, Brooks, I need to do a couple commercials if you don't mind. Yes, Is that you're, okay? you're a little behind. All right, well, the phone looks like it's been ringing, but can I just talk real quick about No Nonsense Office Machines, Rick think, Fowler? That's a great he's idea. our good friend. Do you happen to know if he's open today? I do not, I but I'll find curious. out. But anyway, it's No Nonsense Office Machines. They're located in Georgetown. I'm going to give you the phone number so you can give them a call. Um, but I want to let you know that they work on just about anything from laptops to tablets to computers to fax machines to gaming systems to printers. They not only work on them, they sell them and they not only sell them new they sell them new and they sell them used he's a real good guy his prices are unbelievable his service is priceless he stands behind what he sells he's a good honest man and I highly recommend him so if you have a computer that's not working just right or you need a home computer or you need a copy or anything electronic you give Rick a call and he will hook you up again his prices are very fair. He's not like the big box stores. He doesn't sell you stuff all loaded with stuff that you don't need. He talks to you in a language that you can understand, and he is there for you before, during, and after the sale. Been in business many years. Good, honest man. Rick Fowler. It's No Nonsense Office Machines at 856-7381. 856-7381, and you can look him up on Facebook, too. The other person I did want to mention is our other friend, Jerry Santora, who does a lot of lawn care work, but probably not this time of year. He's probably out doing something with snow today. But another thing that Jerry sells is a lot of good quality seasoned firewood. So a lot of people sell firewood, but it's not always seasoned. Jerry's an honest man. If he tells you it's seasoned, it's seasoned. He's got the best prices around. You can pick it up or he can deliver it. So if you're looking for some firewood, Jerry Santoro is your guy. Now say you got a lot, you're getting ready to build a new house, or you got some trees that are sagging or leaning or old and rotten and you just want them cut down or cut up or whatever, Jerry Santoro can help you out. It's Jerry's Lawn Care. He sells firewood. He clears lots. He cut down trees. He grinds up stumps. He digs up stumps. And he also sells and installs pavers. If you got a paver project coming up next year or this year and you want to get a quote on it, his estimates are free. So whatever you need, Jerry Santoro's prices are right. He's an honest guy. He's a local guy. He's been in business over 10 years in this community. I deal with him for many different things. I highly recommend him. And if you're not sure if Jerry does it, you give him a call. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. It's Jerry's Lawn Care, 363-6025. 363-6025. Jerry's Lawn Care will take good care of you. And on the web, it's jlc-llc.com. jlc-llc.com. Man, I got way behind today there, Brooks. Just a little bit. <laughs> all right. The phone's been ringing. I want to mention that special offer that we mentioned. First of all, you saw the Val 6 heaters. Secondly, I had no iPad in here. I guess we could have used my phone, but I never even thought of it. But bottom line is, if you have never seen a Val 6 heater work, there is a great video of it today. You can see it um, at Weller, com. You can rewind it there to about 830-ish and um, see it or on Facebook Live, but it was a great video. It literally shows how it's warming the cement. It's literally drying the cement in the middle of a snowstorm. So if you have a shop and need a heater, that's 
the bomb there. That's the bomb. So anyway, on less than a gallon an hour. Another thing that we showed or talked about was the Weller's discount cards. And I can see that we've had some calls. This is a today only, right now only offer. You call right now and say, hey, I want one. I'll sell you one for 10 bucks and give you another one free. Not willing to sell you a bunch of them like that, but I will sell you one. So if you need a Weller's discount card, you want to learn about it, go to wellers.com. It's all right there on the front of our uh, our website, and um, it's savings every single time you use it. Uh, we had two people here used it at Supercuts, so they save two bucks each time, so it don't take long, and they've paid for the card. Ten bucks each, buy one, get one free, call now, 337-7300, leave your name and number, and you'll have all of next week to come and pick it up. If you don't call, you're not eligible, okay? All right, can I talk about Mid-South Audio for just a minute? Sure. Kevin Short. Now, we had Dan Gaffney in here earlier today, and he was kind of surprised with all the equipment we have and the setup we have. We had Senator Brian Pettyjohn, same thing. Said, wow, you have a lot of stuff in here. We want to say thank you to Mid-South Audio because they are who we get a lot of our equipment from. We also have a studio, Colin Walls does. The Catch It Live studio has a lot of equipment there that Mid-South Audio hooked up and put in and installed and so on. So if you have a studio or you're building a studio and you need some help with it, Mid-South Audio can help you. If you're putting on a concert or you're bringing in a speaker for your church or for your organization and you need lighting or sound equipment or platforms or stages, they can help you with that. If you need somebody to run all of that, they can help you with that. Microphone amps, monitors, everything, okay? So it's called Mid-South Audio, and uh, their phone number is 856-6993, 856-6993, midsouthaudio.com. Midsouthaudio.com is, um, is the website, and the phone number is 856-6993, 856-6993. You give them a call, check out their website, they'll take good care of you, whether you need to buy something, rent something, they will help you all the way around. One last thing, if you're going to shovel snow, we've got snow shovels available at Weller's, but you can't buy them till Monday. Okay, that's the only hiccup. So at least you'll have it for the next snowstorm. We've got less than perfect for $5, and we've got perfect for eight dollars they will come with a free demonstration if we have any snow to shovel we will show you how they work just in case you're not sure um, and they're available at Weller's but we are closed today but we're going to be open Monday at nine o'clock I mentioned earlier we're going to probably do a live with Walls and Weller today about two o'clock so if you're out and about whether you're playing in the snow driving in the snow taking pictures we're going to get with you we want to be able to post them or talk to you or interact with you during our show that's live with Walls and Weller later today. About 2 o'clock, we're going to do a show. I do want to mention also our chiropractor friend, Dr. T. <clears throat> I think he is going to join us next Saturday at the Dry Zone Red Barn. But think about this. If you're out shoveling snow and you get a little sprain in your back or a pain in the neck or whatever, or you just get tired and you want a good massage, Peninsula Chiropractic Center can help you out. Whether it's chiropractic care or... Whether you need a massage or whether you need chiropractic care and a massage that works along with that, they can help you out. So it's Peninsula Chiropractic Center. They're located in Seaford. They're good people. Brooks loves going there. Brandon loves going there. I love going there. So were you getting ready to say something? Well, one thing you wouldn't think of with chiropractic care, I went in, um, it was a week or, week or two ago, and Dr. Bud was you know, adjusting me, and he asked me if I was having any headaches. I'm like, well, not really a, like a regular headache, but I had a sinus headache. And he was actually able to help me with a sinus headache. He had this little thing that he was able to, it, it, it was like jolts. Uh, You're kidding Around me. like your, your forehead and your sinuses. And it actually helped relieve sinus pressure. How quick? Really quick, yeah, like instantly. Really? Yeah. All right, well, that's wonderful. So I would have never thought a chiropractor for, for you know, sinus issues, but it was I actually... I wouldn't either. I never thought to promote that. <laughs> yeah, so I, I was, yeah, instant and, relief. And he picked up on it before you said anything. Well, he just, well I, I don't know if he picked... I, I assume so. It makes Maybe sense. Maybe it was the way your voice sounded. It, it could very well be. could be. Okay. All right, so... Who knows what they can help you with? So that's going to make my next offer unbelievable, okay? Mm -hmm. They have an offer for you. Dr. T said, look, if you've got some listeners and they're saying, I don't know if chiropractic's for me or not. I don't even know if it can help. I'm nervous. I don't understand it. Um, I, I've never been. Well, listen, 
He's going to give you a free consultation, and not just with a receptionist. He's basically saying, look, you call and make an appointment. Say, I heard about Peninsula Chiropractic Center at Weller's. Weller does Del Marva, and we're going to give you a free visit with a doctor for free. So you give a call, 629-4344, 629-4344, or PeninsulaChiroCenter.com on the web, okay? Now, Brooks, help me here. Did I miss anything? I've had a very full show. No, I'd like to recap a few things if I could, okay? Sure. We have snow shovels, folks. Yes. $5 for our less than perfect and $8 for our perfect ones, okay? Um, we're not going to be open today, but you can get one next week because there's going to be more snow before the winter's over. We got these little cross five buckle rubber boots, $10 a pair. Mm-hmm. We got these infrared propane heaters, $97, and we've got a demo model for 50 bucks. We've got jumper cables for $9.97. We have a lot of interesting things. If you've never been to Weller's Utility Trailers, go to wellers.com and pretend you're at the store. Okay? Here soon, our new website will be up and running, and you'll be able to literally buy stuff on our website. Mm-hmm. We've been putting a lot of effort into it. That's why it's not done yet. Brooks is very particular, and when you see it, you're going to see that he's put many, many, many hours into getting this thing up and running. Wellers will be open again on Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Wall Service Center will be open again Monday morning at 7.30. Okay? Um, the Wellers discount card, you've heard the phone ring and ring and ring and ring. It's your last chance. If you want one of these, for 10 bucks, buy one, get one free. So it's $10 for the Weller's discount card. You buy it, you get another one absolutely free. Okay? Buy one, get one free. The only way you can get that offer is you have to call now at 337 7300. 337 7300. And um, what do they do? They leave their name and number. Yep. And they will be eligible to get one next week for that offer. You cannot buy a bunch of them at that. You can buy one which will give you two, okay? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, Wellers.com, got a lot of stuff there. Yep. Wellers Utility Trailers has been selling trailers like crazy. We kept those five ninety nine five by 8s They're going pretty good. Mm-hmm. I do think we have less than 20 of them left, yeah. so they're moving pretty good. But we've got the trailer deal for you. Um, I wanted to let you know it would help if you would call, sir. I got a text, <laughs> but the call helps because it goes to where it needs to go. Please. Three three seven seventy three hundred. Plus, we like to hear the phone ring. But anyway, uh, the Weller's discount cards. He's calling. Thank you. Anyway, the Weller's discount cards. Buy one for ten, get another one for free. We're limiting that to one per person. Uh, we are going to do a live with Walls and Weller probably later today at two o'clock. What else have I missed, Brooks? Because I feel like my brain has been a fog here today. It's been busy. You've covered it. Um just we can go over the Facebook pages. We have quite a few. Uh, but if you could like or friend oh, yeah, us. Oh, yeah, do the Facebook uh, We have uh, Weller Dust Del Marva. We have Weller's Utility Trailers. Jim Weller, you can friend him. He's the Jim Weller from Delaware. Weller's Sheds and Carports. Delaware Low Digit Surf Tags. Live with Walls and Weller. And Delaware Storage Sheds, Garages, and Carports. All right. And um, next week, anything big going on? We got the show on Saturday. At, oh, we're not going to be here next Saturday. I forgot again. Yeah. So please, please, please mark your calendar. I believe we've got a lot of special guests coming. It's going to be a full show. So we're going to be on the radio and on My Cozy TV, on Facebook Live, and WellerDoesDelMarva.com from 7 to 9. Then at 9 o'clock... We're only going to be on My Cozy TV and Facebook Live. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. So it's going to be a very, very busy day, very busy show. Um, Colin, how's everything with you? Everything's good. Good. So next week, we're asking you to please mark your calendar and so on and so forth. All right. What's on your mind? Uh, nothing. Just sitting now. Okay. Just checking with you. I didn't know if you had some breaking news or something. <laughs> uh, no. Nope. I just have now figured just... out where my iPad is. Oh, okay. So don't turn the heaters off, Okay. All right. So anyway, um, live with Walls and Weller. We might do something yeah. later on today. Thinking about two o'clock ish. Yeah, two o'clock ish. And we're we're asking we're going to be asking people to yeah, video help me to understand us. what you want to. So do, I think we're gonna I don't do, got it in my head. So here's what I think we're going to do. I think we're going to do a Skype, where people can Skype to us. Now we're going to do a Facebook Live show. Our show will be on Facebook Live, but then. People are going to Skype to us or even call in. We want to see what you're doing. How much snow do you have? We want to see. What are you, you doing in the snow? What are you doing? We want to see you sledding down that hill. Take the right. camera with you going down the hill. If you, if can you find ran a hill in a ditch. Del- if there's a hill in Delaware, we want to see that, too. I have one in my woods. 
So that's that's kind of what we're looking for. We He's hiding see. it. Yeah, I'm hiding it. Are you out on the road? You know, are you but if you did, have, if you if you went out on the road and you feel silly and you slid in the ditch, take a video of it. Yeah, let's see. We'll it. use it's it free. as a public service announcement. Exactly, exactly. So, and we we would prefer to do it live with you, so we can interact with you and talk to you and ask you questions and maybe get you to do something silly if if right. possible. Right. Right. So you're going to help us figure out how to do that, because that's what I don't know how to do. Right. I, okay. I wasn't relying on you to figure that out. <laughs> All right. I do want to say, you hear the phone ringing like crazy. It is your last few minutes for this offer. Go to Wellers.com if you want to see the Wellers discount card. But here's the offer. They're 10 bucks each. If you call right now before 9 o'clock and leave your name and number, you can buy one for 10 and get one for free. <clears throat> you use them all the time, don't you, Colin? Oh, I do, yeah. Just so, used it the other day at the palace. The other did night. you really? Ten mm percent. -hmm. Sure did. So a twenty thirty dollar bill, two three dollar savings. Yep. All right. So anyway, three three seven seventy three hundred. The last few minutes to get in on that offer. Buy one, get one free. They're ten bucks, so you're going to get two for ten. But you cannot buy more than one. Okay? Because I, I, I don't want to sell them for less than ten bucks. All right. I'm trying to recoup my investment. All right. Okay. So anyway, rubber boots, heaters, a little bit of everything, live with Walls and Weller. Please friend request me on Facebook. I'm the Jim Weller from Delaware. Like Weller's utility trailers, Weller sheds at carports, Weller does Delmarva. Like Walls, live with Walls and Weller. We got a lot of stuff cooking, man. I'll tell you, it's an amazing year already. Uh, last week, did we tell how many trailers we sold? Have we done the show since last week? No. We sold 41 trailers last week, folks. Mm -hmm. 41. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all the people that took advantage. We did have a lot of people bought two trailers, right? Yeah, there was quite a few doubles. Yeah. Okay. It was right. it was a great week. We were very appreciative. Good. So anyway, great way to finish the year, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Can we honestly say it was a good deal? It was a win-win for everybody. Absolutely. So keep calling if you want that card, 337-7300. Never had this many phone calls. 337-7300, last few minutes to get a Weller's discount card for 10 bucks. Buy one, get one free. Thank you, Fran, and everybody back at the radio station for making Delaware 105.9 what it is and for making everything happen. And uh, we also want to let you know that you can continue to watch a minute or so on My Cozy TV. We want to thank Bob Backman and all the team at WRDE for all they do, because Bob is going to be with us next week as we celebrate our one-year anniversary of Weller Does Del Marva being on My Cozy TV. So um, other than that, we're going to wrap it up here. How much time I got about left? Ten minute more minutes? Left, about Ten one more minute. minutes, folks. On now, TV. one more minute. 337 7300, your final opportunity to get a Weller's discount card for 10 bucks, and you get another one absolutely free. Please look us up this afternoon live with Walls and Weller. That's a Facebook live show. We're going to do something from the studio, and, and we're we looking... need your participation. Exactly. We're looking for your interaction. Interaction. Yep, so anyway, right. thanks those, to Dean Gaffney for stopping by. Right. You got those heaters out there. We'll close with a shot of the heaters there. We got about 25 seconds left. So He's going to switch think? to that. Yeah. So what do you think of that? It, it, there, it's actually steaming out there. You it's see the steam not, coming I, out I, of it? I say unbelievable, but it's not just a sales pitch, folks. If you need a heater that's affordable, that will operate on less than a gallon an hour, this is the heater. It's called the Val 6. So anyway, God bless you. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Goodbye.